Wondered when someone would find that. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's time for game clearing. So, the plan for tonight is to continue our wrap it up theme, which is basically just wrapping up the year. We're two games shy of our goal of 52 games, so we're just trying to wrap that up as fast as we can. So we're gonna start with this game here, Nuclear Blaze. So I might have to turn the volume up on that one, is what I'm learning here. Turn that down a little bit. Chat to you guys finally finding that alert. Uh because that's uh that's been on the list for a bit. <laughs> so some of you might have noticed that I had uh, updated below the stream a little bit there, if you're looking on like desktop mode, or even on if you're on mobile mode, look at the about page. That got cleaned up. And I wrote, like, I replaced most of the images with just banners and a lot of text. And uh, the entire list of alerts is there. And when I did that, I also slipped in a new one. And uh, this is like the second, maybe third stream that, uh, that's been on there. And it finally was found today. So, I uh, still feeling a little sick. Ah, a little bit. Nothing too bad. Reese is feeling better too, but she's still a little out of it. We're on the upswing, basically. Or we're in the the eye of the storm, and it's just going to suddenly get worse out of nowhere. But we're, we're thinking we're on the we're in a good spot. Hopefully. Yeah. So underneath the stream, I cleaned up the banners a little bit. Uh, cleaned up the lists a little bit. I updated the Q&A a little bit. I'm still going to add some stuff in there later. And updated some links underneath too. So like, we didn't have a link to disc only. Now we do. Um, yeah, just little things like that. Slot machine's still there. It's just, it's... Uh, I actually just forgot. That's one thing I forgot to update. Anything that's not... Uh, that's not an alert, but is actual cash will be... Uh, will be the uh, usual slot machine. All right, but either way, we're going to start tonight. This game was actually given to me by Udiptes. He just messed me out of nowhere. He was like, hey, you heard of this game? Like, no, here, it's a short game. Beat it. So I'm like, okay. So we're going to play it tonight. This is Nuclear Blaze, apparently made by the lead uh, game dev of Dead Cells. It's a firefighting game from a game jam. So we're going we're gonna to swing and see how this goes. I think how long to beat puts it around two, two and a half hours. So it'll it'll still take a while tonight, but we should beat it no problem tonight. Then we might either try to wrap up Shoot You Charles, which is about the same length, or we might just pick something SNES retro. We'll see. But uh, let's do it. We're approaching our destination. 
Get ready to jump. Roger that. Hey, jump too early. Oh, I'm fine. Nice landing. Without all those tree fires, I definitely started by falling too fast. It's definitely my fault. No plans for Chester Cheetah? Probably not. I think, I don't know if I want to torture myself with Chester Cheetah again. Hey, you! We're good here, go check to the east. See beyond the bridge and report. Okay, maybe we're not proceeding across the bridge because it is on fire. It is very on fire. Oh, my bad. I'll do Duke in a second here. Just realized I did not do that. Thank you for the magic water. Oh, my God. I just realized I almost didn't even see that water meter on the right because I had it, the game just panned on enough to the side. I did not notice it. You didn't meet Chester Cheetah? No. Chester Cheetah... We had to kill the boss. You had to hit the boss 25 times with two lives. It was not a good setup. So, uh, I think we're passing on that. Uh, who redeemed that? Because it was very early. Techno Hornist wants the Wisdom of Duke. Techno, here's Duke for you. Ooh, I better get the hell out of here. Duke doesn't like fire. That tracks. How much you have to hit the boss on normal? I'm not sure. I watched a long play of the Genesis version, and they hit the boss 16 times, which is still way too much. I can't tell if the game is too loud, or if the alert's too quiet, or if it's both. It might, it might even just be the alert is too quiet. Here, let me, let me go bump some volume here first. I didn't want to make it too loud, I didn't want to make it too quiet, but it looks like I kind of landed in between there. Uh, do, 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 come on. Let's do a change here quickly. All right. So this is how it sounds normally. Once Xeno Persona's sub's gone. Uh, oh, okay. That's why it's not playing. Okay. That was very confusing. That'll catch up in a minute. Let's bump it like 10%. I really expected to have played by now. It's throwing me off that it hasn't. It's weird that it cuts off the text at the bottom, though. That is really weird that it does that. I'm not sure how to fix that. I originally had it so the text appeared over the alert, but doing that, for some reason, in stream elements, made it so that the picture of the alert disappeared. It was cut off. It was really weird. There's no winning on this one. Okay. There we go. Volume updated for... Those, let me quickly do a change to the other ones. And if you're wondering how to activate the man alert, that is underneath the stream because that's been cleaned up a little bit. You can read how to activate every alert we have there now. Although apparently I have to show how to activate the Falcon Winds Roulette one. That was originally supposed to be a um, it was originally supposed to be a water redeem. It was going to be a point redeem for hydrate, and then we just figured it would just be funnier to use as an actual alert. So Camille made this one. I gave her the audio, and she made the actual alert. So thanks, Camille, for this one. 
There we go. Volumes updated for all the all the mans. Let's get back to the game. I was Choo Choo Trials. I've seen a few videos from it, and it looked like a survival-like game. It was fun. We played it. Um, where's the game audio? We played it uh, as a starting game for Cookie l on Saturday last weekend. It was fun. I liked it a lot. Wait, there's man variants? How many? Uh, four. Wait, you got rid of water and water? No, wait, no, I didn't. No, that should be under the stream. No water is there. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Sorry, okay, so I know why you're saying that. No. is so much so much audio i can't check on mobile yes you can uh you type you click on my avatar and then you hit the about page that doesn't kick you out of the stream that's how you do that on mobile but yeah no the actual water alert's still there i said this was that was going to be a point redeem for just like hydrate and we just ended up not we just use as an actual alert instead What happened to the stream elements donation link? I can't find it on desktop. It's still there. It's now just the banner that says tip donate like it always was. It's just a smaller one. It never went away. <laughs> you played Choo Choo Charles Saturday and you're going to play it today for clearing? Uh, are you crazy? I'm, yeah, well, because it wasn't even that long, apparently. Is there a Pokemon Violet going? Um, yeah, it's just click the banner if you want to donate. That's all you got to do now. <laughs> I got to fix that, tech, that, that text. I don't know why that's doing that. go. Now I can get in. Probably gotta dodge this gun. Or not. Give me your magic water. There's a kitty! 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 Okay, I cannot shoot in midair. I have to be standing on the ground to fire my water cannon. No trespassing. Achievement unlocked. You're not welcome in here. I mean, that's fair. Fire located. Put it out. Teach it a lesson. There's the key I need. I keep trying to jump when I know that's not going to do anything. <laughs> I appreciate the magical, like, aww music. Makes me feel like I've accomplished something. Explosions in the building! Copy that, investigate. Yeah, I need that key first. You found a secret! Uncovered a classified area. 
To Janitor, regarding evacuation order, no, that really wasn't unexpected. We covered this cat topic many times before, as they would eventually cause some serious issue at some point. And you know what? They did. Anomaly 1866 flames are all over the place. Your cats are wandering God knows where, and I'm pretty sure they're de defecating on some important stuff. Cats pooping everywhere. Hey, buddy. You following me? Yay! How do I save the kitty? I assume it's not gonna want to get jump in the water here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cat rescued! Hooray! I'm the hero. I'm dying. The dive. You found a secret. Oh, I found another cat. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty, how did we get you out of here? <laughs> this cat's radioactive. Kitty, how do we get you out of here, buddy? Well, I guess you're stuck with me for a while. Central, wish me luck. I'm guarding a cat. Okay, I have no other firefighting techniques. Fire that way. Ah, here we go. Super fire hose. Hold up while watering to aim up. Can't rescue. Saving all the cats. I have a bad feeling about this. So I'm going this way. Water shield. Hold down when while watering to protect yourself. Nah. Okay. Kind of awesome. Do I have anything that... No. Okay. Wow! Damn you, backdraft. That's getting really serious. Kitty! Kitty, where do I bring you to safety? Nothing around here really looks safe for you. Is there going to be a cat in every room at this rate? I think I wonder if I already missed any. That's the way to go. Can I get in here? No, that door looks locked to me. I think this cat's so good at jumping and climbing ladders. Guess you're with me, buddy. Oh, never mind. There you go. What was that crate up there? What crate? If you mean the crate that was up here, I don't think that's anything. Because it just, it seems like I auto climbed it. And I can't open this door yet, so.
Central. Clears out with three plus beyond this point. Uncontrollable blaze. All right, here we go. Checkpoint reached. It's a book. This is fine. Firefighting techniques. Did you know that fire spread? Sometimes speed is the key. That's it. That's that's it. Just be fast. Okay. Oh no, this one this one definitely spreads fast. Oh my god, there's a lot. I'm out of water. Fill me up, magic water. I assume I can't move on until I fought all the fire. So at least it's looking like here. There we go. All right, we can relax. Now, what's in here? Found a secret. Kitty. How many cats are in this game? Because yeah, so far I've, I've found one in every room. I believe there's 12 unless they add more. Gotcha. Goodbye, kitty. Unauthorized guest. Oh boy. We've gotta have like no knees left after all this falling. Hey, this place looks like some military complex to me. Native low signal, I don't copy. Kurt! I have armor. Can't reach that up there. And see that key card. How do I get it? And I need it anyway, so we're definitely going to find that key card. This military industrial complex sucks. Just full of fire and explosions. No, I thought this was wood. Actually, it might be. Okay, I guess we can't go that way. We're going down. Emergency procedure rev uh, revision five. In case of containment breach of anomaly 1866, units four and five should be deployed near containment gates CG. Immediately refer to blank in case of blank. Director unsupervised contacts with anomaly 1866 are prohibited. Okay, 
Ouch! Damn you, fire! Central! Can't go this way, but I see a button I'm gonna press. Where's that cat? I know he's here. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna save you. Where are you going, buddy? Where's your safe spot? There we go. Yeah, more kitties rescued. We're doing great. Found some back door. Rock and roll. The power of the atom. Uh-oh. I see nuclear warnings here. Central, I repeat, nuclear warnings! first. You press a button, okay. Oh, what's this? Evasion! Escape hazards like a boss. Now I have a roll. Oh, okay, maybe not fully like a boss. Guess I did it too early? Uh oh, I can't help but notice that door is, I can't go back up there now. There we go. Yeah, I rolled too early. Despite it saying press the B button. Caution, no smoking. Caution, roll through the fire. Clear, proceeding deeper. All right, I haven't found a cat yet. Not leaving without a cat. Unless this is one of the rooms that doesn't have one. So let's apply this game. We found a fire and we're putting it out. We're firemen. That's what we do. That's it. That's the whole plot. Maybe I have to break that? Is there just no cat in this room at all? Looks like you can jump up above the room with the keypad. There's a place the roof's missing. Oops, did I miss that? What do you mean below? Yeah, I just think this room just does not have a cat. Or if it does, it's a very well-hidden cat. As cats tend to be.
The document can only be read with clearance level 4 or blank. An item anomaly 1866. Anomaly 1866 is a wooden blank, model blank, 120 centimeters tall and 60 centimeters wide. It was first located in 19 blank inside a blank store in uh, Omelette, uh, Sweden. Anomaly 1866 is permanently burning and cannot be extinguished by any known mean. Hi. Hi, I couldn't find a cat in the game, so you showed up. Hello. I am saving you from the fire now. Next page is missing. Oh, and here's a bagel. What the hell is this place? Sorry, what the hey, what the hey, while is this place? Hi, bud. Yeah, you're just gonna, just gonna block my view, huh? Oh, there's still way more to the area. So yeah, there might still be a cat. I found a secret. Ow, ow! Well, ouch. Well, don't touch the burning sword. Which I can't see because of a cat. Can't fully see. Yeah, yeah, because of you. Yeah, you are in the way. Yeah. Yeah? Sorry, buddy, I can't play with you today. It's work day today. Can I put out the bomb fire? I can't tell. I can, and that. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's the cat. Bagel, you're in like the worst spot, my dude. Yeah, you don't care? Is that what you're telling me? Thank God I have a vertical monitor set up. Hi, yeah, so I can look at the top screen because you're blocking the bottom one. Yeah, knock over everything. Yeah, yeah. Stretch it on my desk. Hello. Yeah, roll over everything. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, interrupt everything. Yeah, because that's what you do. Time thief, did you do that? Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I could, I can't even check Discord right now because of the cat. You could have said nothing and you would have gotten away with it. Hey, buddy. Yeah, mister, I need to get back to the game. Yeah. What is hold my beer mode? I don't know. We don't get it till we beat the game, apparently. Reactor one. Time is running out. Oh, I don't like jumping in this. Pretty sure that this bath will cost me a few years, a few life years. Service announcement. Abnormal temperature in reactor one. Containment compromised. Oh, I can do that in midair. Oh. Didn't expect that to be doable. Oh, that's a timer. Crap! Backdraft got me.
Okay. So yeah, I guess that the purple flame should have tipped me off that something was going to happen there. Do I want to get that wet? Apparently I do. Never mind. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Help me find the kitty, buddy. I know there's a kitty in this reactor somewhere. And you're a cat. You know where they are. I see a vent marker there. How in the world do I reach that, though? Five, five, Not by counting, but I appreciate five, the, the math. Five, five, yeah, there's something there. How the fuck do I get up to that? Is that actually something I can stand on? Ah, it is! There we go. Kitty! Oh, great, another one. So, how original? You want to know about your future? Hey, you know what? Get lost. No fortune telling today. Oh, and send my regards to the janitor. You're so predictable. How boring. Well, predict this. Oh, damn it. Well, guess not. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Wait, is it an actual SCP? I don't know. Probably. No, it's not the actual SCP according to Arizona, apparently. Boy, I hope all those vents actually lead out of here. Reactor 1. Fire in, Reactor 1. Unidentified. Immediately. Okay, we're gonna want that for starters. Start with you. See, that buys us some time. Turn this. Hope it's another sprinkler system. Okay, we got everything, but the fire is not fully out yet. It actually, in fact, relit. Can we not fire? Can we not? There we go. Okay, we're going to be very careful about all that. You didn't explode! Achievement unlocked. Alright, cat hunt first. I'm thinking there might actually not be a cat in the reactor. think there actually may not be a cat some somehow hidden in the reactor good news good news for cats laboratory no entry Central, I spotted dead bodies. Two casualties confirmed.
Play the sad music, Central. I guess you could tell if it has a cat, if the exit has a vent for it to leave. That's kind of what I've been using so far. I just don't know if that's always going to be the case. Well, good thing this paper didn't burn. J. Doe, personal notes, page one. First day at job shadowing mom. She's working in a storage company or some similar stuff. Anyways, people seem super busy all the time and they keep talking about anomalies. I'm pretty sure they refer to me not knowing what I'm doing here. This is going to be a long, boring week. Sure was. Yeah, blue key card. Okay. Oh, that definitely looks like I can get in there. There we go. He found a secret. But I can't get to it. What? That is open up for something else later? Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Prison cells. It all went wrong. Achievement unlocked. And more casualties. Continue breach protocol initiated. Evacuate me. Evacuate me. Evacuate me. Evacuate me. Evacuate me. Ooh, that could have been bad. Can I get up there, though? No, not yet. Oh, shit. Did I do that wrong? Because that's a door I probably could have opened. Never mind. Gotta save that burning paper! Uh oh, I'm out of water. Go get water. Give me more magic water. J. Doe, personal notes, page two. My second job shadowing day at mom's office was really weird. Everyone's acting like they're doing some super top secret stuff for something here, and they keep yelling at me as soon as I happen to touch anything. Julia, the only nice person here, helped me find my way in this huge place and gave me some usual useful recommendations, but she also asked me to let her know if I happen to spot, and this is getting crazier, a cat or a pillow. I'm now pretty sure this place is some sort of clandestine drug lab. This is a hot new indie game. Uh, for those who haven't seen this game before, this is done by the uh, the lead designer on Dead Cells. This is a firefighting game called Nuclear Blaze. So I can't do anything with that. I hope I didn't screw myself out of this. Ta-da. From laboratory, subject regarding gone wild. What I know so far, fire alarm rang at 5.42 a.m. Water pumps malfunctioned and went offline at 6.10 a.m. Reason unknown. Tech units were deployed near Hive at 6.15 a.m., but radio contact was lost shortly thereafter. Evacuation order was dispatched at 7.10 a.m. I just finished securing all sensitive data as required by the general evac protocol, and I'm now heading outside. How are you doing down there? Things really went wrong down here. Central, did you copy? Central! Was there ever really a central? Firefighting game like Burning Rangers? A little bit, just without the the intense theme song of Burning Rangers. Hi, am I getting back to my desk? Thank you. My god, now I can run countermeasures. 
Because I believe we had a raid from Flame Chocobo. Yep. Secret Fury and Flame Chocobo raided earlier. So let's uh, let's run some Christmas for them. For the raids. Ooh, I better get the hell out of here. Yeah, you weren't even supposed to be here, Duke. Stop, stop it. Knock it off. Get some help. Okay. Hello, anyone there? Who are you? I'm John. I'm a student. Ah, oh, the actual John Doe. I hidden here when all started explosion. It's not exactly safe here, you know. I'm fine. Please open the door. No. Dot dot dot. I'm gonna save this cat instead, then. Instead of you. Letting all of other Johns down. Kitty. All right, well, enjoy your time in, in, I assume, in this vehicle. Containment broken. Containment failure. Achievement unlocked. Containment gate. Disabled. Good. Pumps offline. Oh, well, the gate was supposed to stop, but it clearly failed at it. That needs a key card. I get ready for backdraft. Roll. I appreciate the SNES ass music here for firefighting. Reminds me of the actual firefighting games on the SNES, of which there's surprising amount. I think there's like what three SNES firefighting games? They're all kind of decent, too, from what I remember. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh, God, I'm out of water in a bad place. Oh, no. Oh, we're fucked. I know there's, like, the burning factor, the fireman... Or, ignition factor, sorry, that's the one. Firefighters, the original hero. Ignition factor, fire squad... Yeah, I remember Ignition Factor, I remember the Firemen. Those are the only two I remember, so maybe there were only two. Okay, so they do really want me to just rush through here. They want quick calculated movements like an actual fireman. Whoa, boy. Ah, shit, I thought that wasn't going to count.
Does anyone know how long this game has been out? Because I feel like I saw Smite play through this once on his stream. But I also feel like I didn't hear much about this game either. Which is weird considering his pedigree. Don't do it again. Alright, we're fine. Okay, there we go. October 18th. 26th of April, 2021. April 16, 2021, release date currently 10 bucks USD. April of last year. Gotcha. Okay, well, we're not gonna get lit on fire this time, at least. He says as he rolls immediately into fire. There we go, make sure the key card's all nice and wet. Never heard of this until tonight. I mean, I think that's the case for a lot of people, which is strange, again, considering the pedigree of who worked on it. But if I've learned anything, especially this year, I, I've learned that there's just too many fucking video games and not everyone can know about every game that comes out anymore. So I think that's why one of the big changes I want to make in the new year is just do stream types where we just dedicate to new releases and stuff. Because it's fucking impossible to know what the hell's out anymore. Oh, that's a problem. One Wednesday a month, maybe? Maybe something like that. I'm thinking we'll do something like that. That's at least on my list of what I want to do in the new year. One of the changes I want to make. All right, that's the fire. Now, how do I get to the cat? Because that door is clearly hiding something. What's new Wednesday? Not a bad name, actually. Let me, I'm gonna write that down. That's actually not a bad idea. We suggested that that was how did I lose that immediately who said that Orion X2 there we go write that down in my cheat sheet okay how do we get into that room I can't just shoot it to open it. What are the changes were you thinking of? Uh, one of the big ones I'm doing in this upcoming year is I don't think I'm going to dedicate Mondays to game clearing anymore. At least not like every Monday. I think what's going to happen is it's Monday's going to become like a free agent day where I just kind of do whatever I want. And every now and then it will be game clearing. There's a bunch of stuff here. Monday the new Wednesday. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, the last few months not having game clearing on Monday would just be kind of whatever was kind of nice in a way. So I might change that up. Uh, what? Do I have to go hit that laser then come back? I'm a little worried that I'm gonna hit a point of no, no return though. Air pumps offline. Yeah, I'm nervous because there's like two. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh. I wonder what 
wonder what this switch was for. Probably this door over here. Yep. She has another kitty! SCP-3060. Manipulation of and proximity with SCP-3060 are forbidden without grade four supervision. Do not inhale. Authorized oxygen masks are available near containment chambers. If you experience any dizziness symptom, immediately report to your supervisor. Any subject if, uh, affected by sudden sleep symptoms or as described in notes blank and blank should be executed immediately. There you go, kitty safe. I feel like we did miss a cat somewhere, which is a bummer. Morning, ACDC. Well, that's a problem. Ah, yeah. Good thing we're only just getting mildly shocked, and that's it. Could be worse. Turn that off. So I can't open these doors. We saw some of those back in the beginning area too. Highly charged. Ow! Damn it, did it again. Damn it. I tried hitting A. It was just telling me it was in it was generator A, not to hit the A button. I'm not sure what it's asking me to do here, though, because I can't put out that fire. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I could have gone this way. There we go. What even shocked me still? Oh, the giant ladder. That would do it. Is there a health meter? Not that I can see. Thank goodness for that, though. I think we'd be in trouble if that was the case. Ah, damn it. Never that simple. There we go. Let's cool down this place a little bit. Guess I'm not getting that key anytime soon. Oh, that is so much fire. needs a switch how did I live oh the armor okay the armor saved me oh boy all right here's an interesting fact about water water does not conduct electricity the large amounts of random particles and pieces of metal and dirt inside the water conduct electricity so if you filter water to just be 100% h2o the electricity can't no electricity can flow through it interesting Is this a firefighter game? Yes, it is. That's why we're fighting fire. There we 
we go. I'm gonna electrocute that ladder. Oh, I need more water. Give me more magic water. The stilled water is not conductive unless impurities are added. Interesting. I feel like that's something you probably learned in science class and probably just didn't remember. Still interesting, though. Okay, that door's open. Oh, not all the fire's out. Wait, where did I... Where's... Ah, you... Damn you, fire! Uh-oh. Can't go that way. God, this shit spreads fast! There we go. Yeah, just like a real fire. I guess that's probably why it's like, it's a pretty solid firefighting game. If there's firefighters, are there also water fighters? Probably not in this game. Oh, hello. I think I get in trouble for putting out your fire? I think I have to do it. Looks like he's really dead now. Kitty! Sorry, I killed the dead cell. Was he the SCP? No, he was the main character from Dead Cells. Hi, kitty. You just ruined someone's run, John. I hope you're happy. Eh, a little bit. Pumps down. <coughs> hmm. Oh, oh, not this way, I guess. Pumps up. Chat log number 734. Hey, you okay? Gates are down. Anomaly 1866 containment is broken. Again. Another day, another incident. They don't pay me enough for this shit. Jeez, they're also monitoring this conversation? <laughs> fuck, shit, goddamn, fuck! Seems so. Service announcement. Pumps offline. Containment compromised. Unidentified required immediately. Service announcement complete. I always love when that one goes off during the World Cup. Damn, the pumps are really offline! Okay, we can't go down. We needed that right now. We need all that water and water and water. Oh god. Oh, I'm out of water. Crap. Well, I only survived that because I had that armor. Guess we'll take what we can get. Kitty! Katie, I still gotta fight some fire here, so you might wanna, like, wait a minute. Uh, 
Was that the first water alert so far? I think it might have actually been. There we go. All right, Katie, hang on. Help me fight some fire here, bud. This cat has no fear. Might want a little fear, but it has none, apparently. Water and water and water, water there you go, there's the next one. I gotta stop jumping down here with that water in my tank. Ooh, I'm getting lucky with these placements. Alright, how much fire we have left? That's it! Alright. Doing good. Kitty, where do you go? There we go. It's gonna take me so long to get used to that alert. All right, pump service access. It's a little, uh, a little wrecked. Oh God. The pit is blocked and my knees are shot. Okay, maybe hitting the exploding button was not smart. Probably should not have hit the make an explosion happen button. That one's on you, it sure is! No denying that. Time soon. <laughs> Ooh, what does this button do? Ah, it's the exploding button. Son of a bitch. Ah, shit. I didn't expect the second one. Well, I had to press it anyways because it opened a door, so... Tank. Break open that door again. Not often you see firefighting games. Apparently these be like way more common. So we were talking about earlier, there's like two or three on the SNES. I think there's a bunch on the Wii. I know Konami used to have like this arcade game that was uh, also a firefighting game, which was pretty fun back in the day. Oh, crap, I'm out of water. What a bad place to be. 
Magic water. I'm out of wheels. Oh no. Need more valves. Did Konami have one? I know Sega had one. I'm very, I'm pretty sure it was Konami. Maybe I'm wrong, because this was like years and years ago. Oh, I see that up there. Open up. Kitty. SCP-3832. I put SCP-3832 back in its containment cell after I found it near the copy machine in accounting department. I almost had a heart attack when it jumped straight to my face with its horrible squeaky noise. I thought this stupid thing was under hazardous category, so why isn't it? All, why isn't anyone monitoring it 24-7? The janitor. You know, given the wooden walls and knowledge of firefighting mainstays, maybe we're getting an axe. I, I'm thinking the same thing too, but like maybe it's like a new game plus or hold my beer mode option. If I had time, I wouldn't say no to a quick nap. Yeah, shit's real tough. Alright, pop doors open. Bye, kitty. Contact. Um... Is that the credits? <laughs> Why are the credits over there? <laughs> Is that, um, is that just where they decided to put them? I wonder if they put the credits on a map and they just happened to be the part of the map they put it on. They're just out of reach. Can't believe we just saw the credits there, that's hilarious. Even if we can't go down there yet. What does this do? Okay, that works. <laughs> I knew someone couldn't resist. Kitty! How many cats are in this game? We've saved so many. Malsa just says, had to. That's fair. <laughs> Thanks, Malsa. Uh, can't go through there. This argument can only be read with clearance level four, blank. After the second incident, see report blank. A large honeycombed organic structure spread around Anomaly 1866. It showed regenerative capabilities and started to spontaneously and quickly lay eggs of giant wasps. See Anomaly 1866-2. Further experiments demonstrated that direct contact with water seemed to slow down or even stop Anomaly 1866-2 larva growth. These observations led to an update to Anomaly 1866's containment procedure. Containment procedure revision 6 is currently contained in a fireproof reinforced concrete room on site blank. Anomaly 1866 must be contained under a constant stream of cold water, pump A uh, around 9 degrees Celsius, and a flammable object must be kept away from it, 16 meters minimum. Water pumps A, B, and C must be kept online at all times. Not only 18662, eggs humidity levels are to be kept above 85% at all times. Hatched instances of Anomaly 18662 should be stored separately. See Anomaly 1866 Hive. So there's fire wasps, it sounds like. 
Mission complete. over here. Or is this progress? Yeah, there's an arrow. I guess that's... Oh. Ah. Uh. I can see the sky up there. You too, do you copy? Wow, yes, I copy. Go to here, Central. Contra lost report. This place seems to be some secure containment site for I don't know exactly what's in the call. Anomaly 1866. My way to bring back water to their pump system or something. Copy, entrance is blocked. Rescue unit trying to find another way in. Proceed to Kerr. Central? Lost again. Damn it, they lost the Contra. Now we're gonna find Bill Riser. Actually, I gotta double back for a second. can't. I thought of that. Because part ways down, I realized um... Because this is where the cat was. No, never mind. I guess this is... Maybe that's what I saw. This is where I found the cat. I can't wait that I can't break the wooden barrier currently now. I need an axe or something. There's two doors I have not been able to open so far in the game at all. The wooden barriers and the um the red skull ones. Water tank! Twice more water! Oh, thank goodness. But that also means the shit's gonna get harder. Oh, one of those says 21 seconds. Uh oh. I am aware! Oh, so that one relit up. Let's get this on. No more of you. Okay. Again, that one? Okay, that one's good. Let's get that last one here while we can. Uh-oh. Yeah, we can't. Okay, I guess I just have to pick and choose on some of these. Alright, so now, where's the cat? Yep, 
Yep, there's a cat vent, so that means there's a cat somewhere. If I were cat, where would I hide? It's got to be in that room there, right? I hope I didn't need to use one of my vents up here. That would suck if that was the case. And we can help it. No cats left behind. But I am actually kind of stumped on this one. I feel like I've checked everywhere I can. Because I can't open this door. Like, it's got to be somewhere over here, right? Kick it? I can't. Well, let me... Maybe I just can't get the cat in this one. Maybe I actually did need to use it, the wheel on this one, like, right here. There's something going on with moving over the purple light. Oh, shit, you're right! Good eye! But what did that do? It did this. That opened the door. Nice. Who caught that? That was Owen O'Malley. Good catch. The pumps. Okay, that seems helpful. I'm gonna guess I can't get in the goo. I can't spray that. Service announcement. Fire detected near water pumps. Any action required immediately. Service announcement complete. That one needs a button. Protocol reminder, water pumps, Appendix 2A, 2B, and 2C, and general water system, Appendix 2, must be kept online permanently to avoid any new containment incidents with Anomaly 1866. See Note 1. See General Protocol Manual GPM, page 312 to 405 for detailed instructions. Note 1. Sees it reports numbers blank, 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 dash 1, blank, dash 2, blank, 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 and blank. Oh boy. All right. We need to put out these fires ASAP. Okay, we've got at least a sprinkler, so there is a safety zone here now. Problem is, we still need all this other stuff dealt with. Okay, there's our key card. No! Oh my god, thank god for that armor. Whoop! Okay. Ah, oh, unlucky. 
Damn it. All right, good thing we at least hit a checkpoint when we did. Yeah, this little spot right here lit up, and that's what killed me, because I landed right on it. What a bummer. Damn it, there goes the armor. Grab this. Turn this one on. Okay, pump A, on. Needed that. We can get the pump C, we can get past all this fire. Okay, that one's on. B's gonna be a bit of a pain, though. B's not exactly in a nice spot. No, oh, I thought that was gonna be electric. Okay, there's a way out. Water flowing again. Okay, that path is open now. This is the way to go, is in here. Oh, shit. This fire's hard to keep up with this time. Okay, what water have I, what fire have I missed? There we go. Jesus. How many times I gotta teach you a lesson, fire? got the down spray it said protect yourself from fire can you counter the exploding doors with the down spray rather than trying to roll away i don't know because like i can roll out of the kick open animation i don't know if i can spray out of that kitty kitty to mark yesterday i've again spotted the janitor working right inside the containment chamber does this guy have some sort of grade for a credit or something i mean this place is supposed to be super top secret and its access should be restricted to high profile staff only he's just the guy who's cleaning up the floors right come on kitty let's get out of here I'm going to presume you can defend against uh, backdrafts, John, considering you got the dodge after the shield spray. Hmm. We'll see either way. Game Prodigy, thank you so much for the raid. Inside the nest. All right, guys, we're at 90 minutes. This is usually when I take a break. Should we take a break now, or should we keep pushing forward? There's like... 
at least a half hour of the game left. Oh boy. Yep, fire hornets. Break for Cocoms. That's a sign to break. Yeah, I think so. Let's take a break. Alright, let's take a break then. Alright, let's drop some eggs. Captain Joe, thank you for the gift subs. Highlander BH85, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your time here. Shining188 for 14. Ghost Kid825 for 73. Uh, oh, the list is a little too long to read, but I'm committed anyways. <laughs> Spawn Combust for 47. Owen O'Malley for 6. Darkfire Yoshi for 69. Nice. Hyrule for 63. Nev 7871 for 10. Fluffy Scarhorn for 39. Mike Capella for 64. Uh, Yeselt Ifrit for 13. Freestar for 92. MT Games for 69. Nice. Desblade for 17. Game Lover 31591 for 29. Udiptes for 40. Muffin for 82. Zero SC2 for 34. The Zero Domain for 13. Virtual Rally Turtle for 41. Sagami Ito for 35. Joking Mask for 59. Polk Kitsune for 106. Fade of Luck for 36. Xeno Persona 819 for 61. Quillbrew for 28. Wolf Advanced for 21. The Leaf 473 for 58. Frosty the Dragoon for 19, Mr. Christie for 58, Penguin Gamer 36 for 16, Rising Sun 98 for 29, uh, Bleach Bummer for 79, Zella 2997 for 30, Ordered Saturn for 63, Wolf 22 for 31, Kenda Queen for 27, Destiny Light 2 for 26, Linked 60255 for 34, DTHGFT for 71, Mocking Dragon 510 for 13, Lord KO9 for 35, Ryu Saber for 109, uh, Aluria SV for 28, and The Crates for 72. Alongside, oh, are those the ones that Captain Joe did earlier? Yes, and Desdelka for 38. Thanks for stopping and hanging out tonight, everybody. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. I got one from Cool Al called Pro Tom Cosplay. All right, you're the professional. Why am I Tom? What have you done? Nice. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some co-coms and we'll wrap up the game. And then we'll beat something else tonight, hopefully. See you guys in a bit.
Ugh. I swear John must have like a hard drive full of random gifts for this stream at this point. Oh yeah, I mean we we reuse a fair amount, but like I've got a lot. Here, let me look in my current gift folder. This is not my this is not my old one. I have like three separate gift folders because of just how I manage my uh, my backups. That going down to Z. I mean, the normal image folder has a thousand one hundred and four alone. Am I the king of gifts? No, no, I'm far from. Eleven hundred's not bad. The file size is all I really need to know. That is probably si like a decent size. gigs that a thousand that a thousand uh, sorry 1104 gifts is uh, almost four gigs and that's just in my main folder my my other folders probably have another 600 Average file for gifts. It just depends on how how long they are, basically. Well done. Like here, let me look at the ones that we have on the wall here currently. Um. That reuse saxophone gift, for example. That one is three megs. Finding which one that anime one is. I think that's 53. That one's 4.75 megabytes. That Power Rangers GIF in the top left, that one is 1 megabyte. Like, it's just the file size is very completely depending on just how long they are and if they're like wide or not. Alright, let's read alerts and then slide into our block and get back to Nuclear Blaze. Bramnet was the first to set off the man alert, but no message on it. Just, just want to see what it was. Bramnet then says, I have enough bits left over, might as well trigger it once more so people can hear it without trying to hear over the intro. Man! The chaotic Doctor says, I think I found it. You did. It, it wasn't hidden. It's literally in the list underneath the stream. Oh, ooh, oh my dude says, volume test. No alert went off on that one, Owa, so it was nice and quiet. Cow says, moo. Guyman Online says, new alert. Also, any plans for crowd control anytime soon? Uh, probably not by the end of the year. Because, let's see here, schedule for the week. Uh, Wednesday is Xenoblade. We continue Xenoblade on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is a sponsored stream for Bots Are Stupid. Friday is uh, Sugar Rush Fortune Cookie for Smile Time Charity. Saturday is regular Fortune Cookie. Next week's Monday is probably still more game clearing. Wednesday next week, I think, is currently claimed. I forget if we had to change that. The 28th. What is the 28th? Or is that the day I was thinking of? Mm. 
No, 28th doesn't have anything written in. Maybe the 28th? I, I forget which which day is supposed to be what. Actually, no, I think that was what it was supposed to be. Is I think the 21st or 28th is supposed to be Power Trip, and then the other one is taken up with something else. I believe that is actually what the uh, the schedule panned out to be. Also, tomorrow's 2 p.m. Eastern Retro Battle matchup features two runners, and one of them will be facing John in their next matchup. Yeah, one of them is one of our community members, a commie of games. And uh, if Nick wins, there it's going to be a rough-ass battle on Saturday, because Nick is really good. Nick is, uh, Nick is the one that I usually ended up playing against in the challenge rooms constantly over the years, so like we're pretty evenly matched. It's going to be a nail-biter. But Nick has also been practicing for this, and I do not have the time to. So more than likely, Nick is going to have an advantage. It's just going to take some stupid luck with the games. I asked this before, but I watched Retro Battle, and oh no, John, why is Big John hot? And dude's a good-looking dude. Hang out with Big John. He's a nice dude. Kami's been in Cusa Grande too, so yeah. So yeah, we have a pretty even skill set, basically. Like more Banjo-Kazooie, is that good luck? I mean, if Banjo comes up again a third time, sure, why not? I'd take that as a good luck sign. But I'd also be very confused what the hell the third challenge would be that I'd be doing for Banjo-Kazooie. You've done so much Banjo this year. Apparently this was the year of the Banjo. Uh, but yeah, to answer the question, probably not till the new year, if I had to guess for crowd control. There is plans for something crowd control adjacent, but I don't know when that's actually happening. I'll keep you posted if anything happens with that. The Leaf says, it's him. Man. Oh, 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 my dude says, in honor of all the five dice blocks from today's TRG episode, please put this money towards Wobble Dogs on Steam. Oh, I forgot about that st Stupid Kamek space. I block that out of my mind. Wobble Dogs. Did Wobble Dogs even come out? When did that even come out? Wobble Dogs is out. Oh, it came out in March. Never mind, it's been out for a while. Steam? Steam, you alright? Steam, did you just crash? Yes, you did. Okay. No, you just had an issue loading something here. Okay. Alright. I got Wobble Dogs thrown in my cart. Thank you, Owo. Owo also says SCP 5560 is a black one terabyte external hard drive labeled with the Anderson Robotics Trade logo. SCP 5560 houses an advanced artificial intelligence. Possesses the ability to accurately predict events within the next 48 hours from the SCP Wiki article for SCP-5560. Interesting. Afro Blade Master says, commencing sad music. <laughs> Yo Many One says, just got back from traveling for my mom's wedding and caught something that is kicking me hard. Thanks for the stream, distract me from how crappy I feel right now. No, I feel you, dude. Like, we're both kind of under the weather here at the house. I've gotten it lighter than Reese did. Reese has been out of commission for a while, so... Feel on that. Recover soon. And recover well. Yo. Yo. How's it going, dude? Good, how about you? It's going all right. I thought that was your, like, Discord mic was being all weird, but it's like, oh, wait, no, I guess that's, like, something else. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was so weird, dude. It was, like, it was, like, going, like, in and out. It was, like, a weird, like... Like a slide whistle, like, in a Discord call. It was very fascinating. That's really weird. Yeah, it's it's fine now though. But I don't know what was going on there. 
Are you gonna also, pick hello, up the, Chad. Are you gonna pick up the Crisis Core remake tomorrow? Yes, I do have that uh, pre-ordered. Nice. I'm, I'll pick that up at some point. I'm gonna grab it for PS5, I think. Good choice. Apparently the Switch version's decent, but I mean, yeah. That's what I heard, which is good to hear. Kiranai Hideyoshi says, Hey y'all, my mental health's been on the climb uh, since I realized that I can use our family's recently inherited Lazy Boy chair instead of a portable mattress in the basement. The non-committal nature of it has proven to be quite the boon. If only I could have a Lazy Boy chair in my own bedroom. Oh, Lazy Boys are great to pass out in. Like If they, if they like stretch out completely, that shit's comfy. CK14500 says, Cause water and water and water and water and water. And then Kenda also says, Water. The leaf says, with all this water, there's only one man for the job. <laughs> God damn it. Mal set with a mission accomplished, saying I had to. Arielin also follows up and says, the fact that you stream new games is the reason I own 75% of my new games. So the idea of you doing it more on the regular would be fun, even if my wallet would hate you. Lol. Yeah, I think, I, I really think, especially this year and the last couple months have shown me, I really should just play new games on stream every now and then just so a you guys get to see stuff that's not just the same stuff that always comes up on cookie and b so i can actually play the new games as they come out and not have to wait x amount of months till like, like everything lines up so i think it's a good idea so that'll be one of the stream types that'll be more on the regular in the new year hell yeah dude all right that's that's alerts thanks for everyone who sent stuff in even if they didn't have messages on them let's go to art block Another good name for the new game stream could be Freshly Baked Cookies. I'll keep that one in mind too. But like, I think we might, have, we might be overdoing it with the cookie dubs. So maybe maybe we should like have some non-cookie name streams too. That's Out of the I, box maybe? No, I, that's, I liked, I liked uh, Orion's choice of What's New Wednesday. Ooh, you know, I like that actually. It, yeah. it, it really works. It's smooth. What's New Wednesday do? We're coming after you. Hmm? John is just the cookie bakery now. I mean, I always like cookies, so. Are you cookie clicker? No, I'm not cookie clicker, but you do not know how much restraint is it taking right now for every time I say cookie to not try to slip into a, like an Arnold accent and go, cookies, put that cookie down like that. It's very hard to oh, resist doing cookies. that. Cookies. Yeah. Oh, your last cookies are excellent. <laughs> put that cookie down now. <laughs> Oops, uh, there was supposed to be an art block transition there. Just pretend it was there. Uh, from Timeline Man, main features atomic, uh, automatic frontal gun, the electron cloud. From Timeline Man, I may have accidentally double posted this. I can't find the duplicate. Anyways, it's done. Due to the extra time it's taken me, I have been watching game mechanic ideas for the thing. The ship I named the PJ-01 Atom, or Atom, A-T-O-M, if you want a pun. The function of the electron cloud is as follows. In the default state, it absorbs the energy of projectiles that comes near the atom and turns it into power. With stored power, the cloud can be observed, showing the drones uh, it's made of and adding additional projectiles. Interesting. I like the conversion idea. Nice nice idea, Timeline. Finally, you might get the chance to play Mario Rabbids or Wildermyth. Yeah, it'd be nice to play either of those or Potionomics or really any of those other newest releases. <laughs> Have you even watched it all the way this holiday, this holiday season? No, I've not watched any Christmas stuff yet. I don't usually get into the Christmas spirit for like movies and shows till like the week before. So, got a bit. Freshly Baked Cookie sounds like selecting the latest viewer cookie choices for Saturday nights. Yeah, I'm, I'm not super sold on that name. Next up, a colored version. Oh, how fitting Maniacal's here. Look, we're holding hands. Yay. And we've summoned Hank Hill in color this time. <laughs> from Gishbet. Whoa. Yeah, so Mooch paid me to put effort into this. Enjoy uh, Sekia Propane Propane Tengyokin in its full glory. <laughs> Now just replace the yell in the English dub versions ending with a good old boo, and you've got perfection. Thank you for the work, Gishbet. Thank you, Mooch, for commissioning the colored version of this, and thank you, Gishbet, for finishing it. Fantastic. This great. Man! From With Love, man! No more finals, but not sure why Brain decided to give a go at animation, but here we are. Thank you for man, love. Thank you for the man art with love. That sentence sounded better out of the two. A little bit, yes. A little bit. All right, that's our block, just three pieces. Let's get back to it. All right. Oh, 
Oh, it unpaused itself. Oh, it unpaused itself because my controller turned off. That's weird. <laughs> that why is would weird, it, yeah. Why would it turn off because the controller went off? Oh, you know what? You know what I bet it is? I bet you they programmed the game that if it senses your controller lost battery, it, t it hits the pause button. But it didn't check to see if the pause state was activated already. So maybe it unpaused because it thought that was the case. New box smell sounds pretty good. Oh my god. That would work if most Dude. games weren't digital now. I mean, the Switch cartridge has like the new the new cartridge taste. Uh, uh, yes, just... new game taste. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, if you don't like your new Switch cartridge, it's not really your, your game yet. Got to establish don't, ownership. Don't, don't don't do that. Don't actually do that. You will have regrets. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Th those things are like laced with like nasty flavor. B a bitterant, a, I believe is what they call it. Bitterant or deterrent. Sounds right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna regret doing this. Well, maybe not this. Let's Ooh. go find the kitty. A secret. There's a spider web inside this glass box. Oh, by the way, those beat up spider webs in them. Uh, to Janet, hey, I know SCP-3979 has been archived, but do you have, by any chance, some unofficial record of their spider and the fly performance? It was kind of catchy, and all reports now require a grade 4 a creed since they started uh, discussing the hazardous reclassification. The tiny spider was so cute when it did its dance thing, remember? I was going off your physical collection tendencies. Oh, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Kitty. Cat made an explosion. All right, kitty, you just you're do gonna, that. I need help. Give me some help, cat. Remember new booklet smell? Yeah, God. It's one thing I miss about gaming. One of the many, many things of the bygone era. Yeah. I mean, some some physical companies still do uh, manuals and stuff now, like like um, Limited Run from time to time does it. I can't say I'm too spread to Limited Run. That cat has no fear of fire. However, apparently I should have. Cat's just perfectly fine. Hey. Hey. You spawned out of nothing. I don't know what it is. When I hear the word hey, I can't help but think of the Sonic 06 NPCs. I just, when you talk uh, to them, just like, hey. 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 Uh, speaking of Sonic, I, I, I went back and I'm working on uh, Frontiers now. Oh, nice. What do you think? Oh, shit. Um, I like it, but I didn't like the first Super Sonic fight. It felt really awkward. Probably because it kept sending me at him without turning the camera around, so I kept getting slapped backwards. Mm-hmm. Which was weird. Hey, I, was going, I was going too fast for the game, so I actually had to slow down how I was doing the fight so I could actually, like, see him so I didn't get slapped away. And someone want to know if... Oh, no, the shield is a viable option, you're right! I forget who asked about it, but yeah, no, the shield is a viable option for, uh... For when uh, you have a backdraft. Shields are always viable. Remember, be sure to shield, otherwise... You'll regret it. Hmm. I found a secret. I never oh, had that problem. Boy. All the supersonic fights were epic. Yeah, no, I, I didn't like it, the first one. Because, uh, keep in mind, I've only done the first one. Because, like, literally, he would slap me away, and then it would send me to go back after him, but it would slap me away again before I could see him. So I had no chance to dodge or anything. So it was just annoying. Yeah, that's fair. Thoughts on the music? It seemed okay. You probably weren't parrying the Giganto. Um, so it had been, it's been like a month since I played, and I basically went in straight to the Sonic fight. I could not even remember what parry was. In fact, I forgot the game actually had parry. 
Uh, I was trying to dodge, and dodging wasn't working, so. Mm-hmm. Yep, different experiences for everyone. Secondary anomaly report. Anomaly 1866-2 is a giant wasp, 60 to 80 centimeters, capable of igniting flammable objects in a range of 10 meters. It was first discovered in Anomaly 1866's storage room after incident zero. See report blank. Its exact origin is still unknown. 18662 was first classified as hazardous category due to extremely hostile behavior, but was later reclassified as safe since it could be contained using simple water streams. It's now stored in the hive, see blank, and remains under minimal supervision. Yeah, regardless of forgetting about the parry, which I, I definitely did forget about the parry, um, I still thought it was weird you couldn't seem to, like, do the sidestepping, which I thought was the dodge, but again, I basically went right into the fight after having not played it for a month, so I did not remember any of the inputs. Relearning mm -hmm. things on the fly. I didn't die on him. Like, I was not, I was nowhere close to dying. I should clarify that. I had, like, 200 plus rings still left. But, like, I was just more like, hey, why is it I can't see what's hitting me anymore? Why is the camera not resetting? Which I thought was really weird. There's a ladder. Ladder grip. You can now shoot water while hanging from ladder. Oh, thank you. That's very Ooh. helpful. Ah, and I can still do up. I can even do the shield. Nice. Well, that sucks. Too far. Not far enough. Aww. So that that um, that part there, where you see bricks, that's you can go through that. So it's not a solid like block, and I think that's what's messing me up. Like this, you can jump through this. Mhm. Mm and that's what's making me go just a little farther than I intend to every time. There we go. Now yeah, we're in a better spot. Something tells me I should probably set this right away. Someone say it's a cool spot. Really? <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> uh, this is not good. Okay, first and foremost, we gotta turn this off. Nope, well, let's also not light ourselves on fire. Oh boy, I am out of water. This is not good. There's a restock, but it's right next to the damn wasp. Nope. Shouldn't have jumped. I died the first time I fought Giganto because I didn't pay attention to how many rings I had going into the fight and started with 20. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. I went in with like 412 because I was just running around at max speed just getting stuff. Oh, god damn it. How many times I gonna make that same mistake? See, that? that's also... I'm gonna comment on that, too. That seems actually kind of dumb that they don't just give you a bunch of rings to start. They should, actually? I'm pretty sure they actually give you, like... A minimum, like, amount of rings. Like, rather, if you're below the minimum, they actually give you rings. Like, I'm, like, 80% sure on that one. I mean, that would make sense to me, yeah. Because they want to just start you with, like, 20, just fuck you over. Someone says, I thought it gave you 100 if you're below that. It gives you 100 minimum. Yeah, they're confirming you get 100. But still, 100, I could see you dying with that. Depending on, like, the boss and, like, how long you take on it, yeah. Yeah, a lot of it is just a matter of, like, learning the fight, too. It's not really a fight to learn, is it? Um, I would say yes, actually, in terms of, like, 
learning like how to parry it. The, the main thing is not like the it, it, it's more so like it's it's movements itself as you can parry it and get more chances to attack. Mm, I mean, I guess so. Like, um, there was two things I had to do. I had to go into the menu and turn off the auto combo because I had unlocked that at that point. Oh, no, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> yeah, so I had to turn that off. Uh, oh my god, it's man. Man. And there he is right there in that burning room. Save him. Yeah, no, dude, like the second the game was like, hey, you can have auto combo. I'm like, I literally went on my way to unlock it last and I just immediately turned it off once I unlocked it. <laughs> I'm like, I refuse. If Sonic Frontiers is already basically like baby's first character action game, I'm not going to put on an auto combo. Nice. I learned the hard way you can't just spam the basic attack. So I had to probably use the combos and special moves against that boss, because, like, I definitely did. <laughs> I just tried to speed it up by using the ground pound move, cause like in the in the combo, cause that was doing like three thousand damage according to the game, and I'm like, yep, keep gonna keep doing that. I assume later bosses will not let me do that. What? Just like spam or uh, spam your punch over and over? Yeah. Uh, probably not. I mean, you can. Here's the thing, right? You you can play the game any way you want, right? Like, if you want to just, like, gung-ho, just mash, like, your attack button all all the time, go for it. That's how you, if that's how it works for you, it works for you. I mean, like, the regular enemies you can't, because there's certain ones that require you to use the ground pound, there's certain ones that require you to grind, stuff like that, so. Ah, okay. I just, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying, from, like, the, having done just the first Supersonic, I felt underwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But also, yeah, it could have gone better if I had remembered that there was a parry in the game. Of course. So we'll see how it goes next time I I get to one of those. Because I have to play it for top down. It's our game of the month. Of course, yes. So Frontiers is a very interesting uh, game in my eyes. I think the game itself is overall fine. But I also know and understand and recognize where the game, I think, has its faults. Um, but uh, I'm not going to get into those, obviously, because you're still playing it. And I think overall, like... It is still a good game. Okay. Where's our cat, if there even is one in this area? There's two doors into the SCP chamber. And the cat could be in there. For all I know, the cat, the anomaly could be a cat. <laughs> it could be. It could be you. It could be me. It could be any one of us. Oh, come on. He was very clearly the spy. <laughs> Hello. 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 How, How would are you? Be? I asked I, first. I'm... I'd be okay. How about you? I'd be okay. Good. I could be better. <laughs> yeah, I saw. What happened there exactly? Okay, so, like, I woke up this morning, right? I'm like, okay, you know, I woke up, great, awesome. You know, every day I wake up is a great day, I suppose. Uh, half an hour goes by, right? Uh, I see a message on my phone. Hey, <laughs> do you know this website? $160 was just spent on, on your card. <laughs> do you know, did you do that? I'm like, uh, nope. So, uh, yeah, so as a result of that, uh, because I had no cash on me and all my money was on my debit card, uh, and because, like, you know, I'm not getting, like... Basically, like, okay, your uh, debit card is now uh, not it does doesn't work anymore. Uh, wait for a new one. I'm like, okay, I'm like, shit. I, it's like, well, I guess I have no money now. That's probably bad. I'm not gonna have that for like a few days, which would suck. So you know, that's fun. I think they're okay now, and like people, you know, helped out, which was nice. I saw your name in there, actually, John. So thank you for that. By the no way, no worries. Glad to help. Yeah, very, very much appreciate it. Janitor's office. What the. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that was a, I've, I've never really, 
I've never really had that happen before, right? I've never really had like my information stolen like that, so it was a very interesting experience. Oh, dude, I can do you one better. I got told my information was stolen by the company that was protecting my information from being stolen. What? <laughs> yeah, apparently they so like my credit card had some company that was like they use for like uh, info fraud or something like that. And apparently the info fraud company got hacked and the information got out. So I was just like, okay, cool, neat, thanks. And then like my my bank had the gall later to call me up, be like, hey, do you want to sign up for this for this uh, feature? I'm like, is this the feature that got my information stolen? And they're like, oh, yeah, okay, goodbye. And then because <laughs> I don't think they expected people to remember that. You probably not. No. This, mind you, this was like maybe two years later, but yeah. Hmm. It would have been extremely bold of them to do it immediately. Yeah. Uh, Anomaly 1866 produces a permanent fire that cannot be extinguished by any known mean. Its own material seems to be unaffected by the fire and shows no visible structural damage. See no blank. Tests have shown that physical contact with 1866 produces identical effects to standard immolation. See experiment blank and corner reports blank, blank dash one, and blank dash two. Okay, so this is not good. I guess I can't go up there to see if there's any secret cats. From what I was researching about the website uh, that I, like, had, that the money was used on, it was some kind of, like, clothing sh uh, site. So I was like, hmm, okay. Gotta get yourself some nice new clothing. I guess so, yeah. Like someone Apparently, like, credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Apparently so. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, toasty. I'll get like the. Uh, oh, sorry, Pop, go ahead. You said toasty. toasty. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll get the uh, refund on that one pretty soon here. Uh, so that'll be nice. Kind of need that money and or card for Magfest, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, might be a little important. Yeah, I had my old uh, Gamefly account hacked, and they bought a Switch and stuff. Really? Yeah, that mm -hmm. was last year, I think. Shit. Oh my god, is the fucking anomaly a chair? Fornea, thank you for the raid! Forneria. Hey, for an area. Fourth planet in the Lilat system. I'm glad you, God uh... Damn it. Caught that. It's auto-climbing that fucking ledge every time, and that's what's killing me. I'm not trying to jump up there. It just does it when I get too close. Because it does, it does this. Corn area. You ever think they're gonna make a Hades too? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Bob. Shut up. <laughs> I still can't believe it was the f like fucking like three days after or whatever. Like, what were the odds of that? Did you yeah, did you I know no that there was rumors no, of it I had, or? I had I had no idea. There we go. There weren't any. Because, like you said, they don't they don't make they don't make uh, sequels usually. So yeah. their their FAQ on their on their site was even like, yeah, we don't normally do sequels. We just felt like this time we could though. So it's it just was just like the, the one time. Probably their best selling game. Oh, it's definitely mm -hmm. their best selling game easily. Like first off, they had like remember Hades used to be like epic exclusive. Yeah. Showdown with the chair. No one can defeat the chair. Clearly, Pop was asked to do the soundtrack. Oh, it's a boss fight. 
I mean, Pop, would you know how to use a theremin? Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. I didn't think they were going to do an actual boss fight in this game, but I guess I can't be shocked. Oh, that also hurts me. Shit. I guess that makes Aww. sense. Okay, good. It is a checkpoint. Okay. Good. Oh, it's still making me do this part, but... No, oh, unless I do that. Alright. Breaking stuff on my desk. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Oh, come on! Damn it. I don't get why. Excel's fun. Oh, God, are you in another season? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that explains why I have not seen you around much lately. Oops, Steve. Well, I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, this, yeah. this season, or this league's way better than the last league. That's for sure. Oh, it just like straight up puts out the containing ones, like they don't ever kick back in, huh? Okay. Ah. Funny enough, this league they actually put in uh, a roguelike like Hades. Oh, yeah. It's got like you you get sucked into this portal and you go into like a floor like floor system that has rooms. Mm -hmm. Each of the rooms has different like criteria to beat that room and then you go to the next one you get like boons and uh what is the Fuck. word afflictions it's kind of silly that well, sounds fun at least yeah that's not bad as long as you're enjoying yourself it's poe so the answer is yes and no at the same time yes i'm locked in a prison <laughs> You're in gotcha hell, basically. Welcome. Minus the actual gotcha elements. May I introduce you to a saber? <laughs> no. I guess I should just take my time and just stay down here. Oh, no. Because he ain't coming back down. <laughs> And this is damaging, but it's damaging pretty slow. And since I can't fire in midair, it uh, does complicate my attack options. Oh, this is actually working pretty good. Nice, nice. So I gotta be careful I don't run out of water. Oh. It's pissed. It's pissed. Okay, this might be a bit excessive at this point. Seems like this ladder strategy seems to be working pretty good. 
As long as I don't get surprised by one of those things just spawning on me. Which it seems hell-bent on doing. Someone asked if this water's killing bosses, does that make it a death water? Yes. I did it. Furniture got wrecked, achieve and unlocked. Nice. I put out the chair. To janitor, one of your cats was found again playing near Anomaly 1866. That's only a matter of time before it causes some containment incident. And how did it get there in the first place? Well, there's something over there then. But I can't open it because I don't have the whatever the skull is. Oh, don't tell me. Notice the difficulty slider? Mm-hmm. There's a skull at the end. Oh, yeah, I see that. Well, I can't open that. It means if there is a cat over here, I can't get to him. Yep, can't open that door either. Need a, need a skull key. I'm going to assume opening this is going to be a bad idea. Sixteen out of sixteen cats rescued. You found a secret. Hell yeah, we got them all. Cat savior. What'd I get? Um. Hey. Is this the janitor? Hello there. General Kenobi. Thanks for taking care of my kittens. And sorry about all this mess. We will definitely keep Anomaly 1866 under closer supervision from now on. The least you can do, I suppose. Well, I guess you're expecting some kind of secret ending or something. Sorry to disappoint, the dev was kind of too lazy to add an epic scale conclusion. Don't get me wrong, I truly appreciate your help. Maybe we'll meet again in another game? Anyways, good job. Oh, well, thank you. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. I want to pet the kitties. I cannot pet the kitties. This game's a sham. <laughs> Yay! You did it! Yay! You did it! Well done! Hold my beer mode unlocked. Start a new game to play this mode and discover lots of new content. And there's the Yay. credits. We found them. They got freed from <laughs> from underground. <laughs> Apparently I have a boat I can take now. You're about to end current game. Move back if you want to cancel. There's the real one. And there's all the SCPs that were in there. This was a fun, you dipped us, this was a good choice. Good call on this one. And would you rate this? This was fun, like it was short, sweet, wasn't that hard, and apparently has like a harder version you can unlock. 
I'd probably rate this like a what, a 99? It was fun. Not bad. Good to hear. I remember playing through this when it came out. It was a fun little game. I'm just wondering what is in hold my beer mode, but I also don't want to do another full playthrough right now. What is this on? I only know of it being on... Oh, no, actually, uh, apparently it's getting a console version recently, because I think that's actually what brought my attention in the first place. Like, it's getting a physical version. But I think it might already be digitally on, like, the Switch. There we go. Done. One point five. Oh, hold my beer. Hold my beer mode. This new game mode is unlocked by beating the game once. A full re-exploration of the game world with many new hidden areas in all levels, new devastating threats, and new tactical elements. Fire propagation will also be faster, forcing a more precise and tactical approach. Added a new level select screen when using continue from title screen. Add the original game jam version of Nuclear Blaze made in 48 hours for curious players out there. Added an extra ending. Yeah, I guess for hold my beer mode. Added automated defense turrets in hold my beer mode. Added acid water pools because fire wasn't entertaining enough. Better control the dodging movement. If you press the opposite direction while dodging, this will break a lot. I know uh, I know you add tons of fun dodging into fire. Sorry for fixing that. <laughs> it's now possible to dodge and cancel while breaking a wooden door. Oh yeah, we never figured out how to do that either. Removed a few wasps in hive and containment chamber. They'll still reappear if you play hold my beer mode. Remove the old difficulty feature option fast fires, which was merged into the hold my beer feature. Seems like more cats lost their way inside Site 16. If you leave a level with a cat and the cat hasn't reached its exit yet, it will now magically exit because that's what cats do. <laughs> Alright, that's neat. This was fun, dude. Let's put that down on the list for beaten. Not complete, obviously, since there's a whole extra difficulty. It's a beat, but not like a complete. Yep. Alright, that means we only gotta beat one more game this year. On nice. stream, and then we've hit 52. Nice. Chad, how do you feel about us finishing Choo Choo Charles? Since we started that on Cookie uh, on Saturday. And it is about the same length as this game, so we don't have too much to do in the game by comparison. So we think we played Charles for like 45 minutes. From the long plays I saw, it was averaging like an hour 45. I guess I saw like a, like a two hour in there, I saw an hour and a half in there. So I would imagine it depends on the player. Alright. Uh, let's pop a poll up. Most people seem to say, yeah, but no, let's see if just the, the nays are just being quiet. If it weren't Choo Choo Charles, what would you do instead? Uh, probably some SNES game. I was thinking like one of the Adams Family games. Okay. Not values, that one's way too long for like beating tonight, but... Alright, meanwhile, while the poll's running, uh... Destin the Insane wants the Wisdom of Duke. Darn tootie. But, but, wait, hang on. Let me just... Yeet. Safety first. Yeet. All right, currently looks like two-thirds of the chat wants to see Choo Choo Charles be game 52. And I think that's probably what we're going to be sticking with. It doesn't look like it's changing at this point. minutes-ish. Probably no point in taking a break now, right? We can just hop into Charles for a bit. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's just hop mm -hmm. into Charles then. Yeah, because again, for, for those wondering at home... Uh, why does that always change? 
There we go. It's currently two thirds are cool. Those finishing choo choo Charles. So I don't think it's gonna change percentage enough because that's almost a mercy kill at that point. So let's just go boot up choo choo Charles and clear that one. Is there a version of that one where Beefroo falls? Yes, that's usually the one that shows up, actually. Question, John, have you ever played Final Fantasy Adventure? First game in the Mana series. It's unbeaten on Backlogger, but I was wondering if you tried it. I think I've, like, just booted it up and tried it for, like, a minute or two. Never gave it an honest attempt. That's the different one from, like, what is it, Mystic Quest? Or, yeah, Mystic Quest is a different game. Yeah. Mystic Quest was an actual RPG, so. Yeah, that's the one I want to try at some point, actually. I've heard good things about it. Got some killer fucking, like, uh, soundtrack uh, stuff in there, like the battle theme and the boss theme. Is this the last game clearing stream of 2022? Probably not the last game clearing stream. We'll probably do, like, a, uh, like a lightning round or something to boost the number. But, uh, this is the last game I have to clear before we hit 52 games, so. Alright, let's do it. Choo choo, Charles. Will Choo Choo Charles be a new file or continue the one from last stream? We'll just continue the file from last stream. There's no point starting a new one. It literally was the previous stream, so... If you're watching the game clearing VODs on YouTube or Twitch and are wondering like, Hey, where's the rest of this playthrough? Literally look one stream back. It should be like, fortune cookie, this might be a short one edition. Or something akin to that. Let's continue our game. Or not. Hello. There's our train. Beautiful. Nice and green. Did you give it a name? Uh, no, I have not yet. Because the, the enemy train was named Charles, so I didn't want to give it a name. Ah, uh, okay. I don't, do I even need the spider train warning? I don't think it's even that spooky, but maybe that's just because I'm dead inside. It's, it's not that bad, but some people got, like, arachnophobia and shit. Fair enough. I can pop it back up. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong, Pop. <laughs> Bro, I can't. How do we fix that, John? Uh, therapy's working on it. Hell yeah. That's my secret. I'm always dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> just sucking in a corner, just drinking like a single Starbucks. Okay, Nothing so else. we already went into this barn. I think that was where we stopped last time. Let's make sure here. Yeah, we've only got four scraps on hand right now. Honestly, I envy your dead inside courage, nonetheless. <laughs> I mean, so like, I already said this, like, the reason I'm, like, shit doesn't scare me unless it's like a jump scare is because, uh, when I was really young, uh, my sister was watching one of the Friday the 13th movies, and I sat in the room and watched it. And, uh, uh -huh. and then like a night or two after I watched the movie, I flew to, uh, my cousin's place, and I, it was, a thunderstorm was happening late at night, so I basically kinda, like, scared myself senseless. And ever since then, I've I've not really been scared of the horror stuff. Yeah, it's just Burger King guy. What? The Burger King thing? Yeah, the, Long the king? Long time ago. The, the, the fucking king. The king. The Burger King guy. That's him. Oh. Getting a visitor? Yeah, it's me. Sorry. Yeah. Is he trying to pee? Here's your box, buddy. Just go pee. Yeah, we're both watching now. That's definitely encouraging you to pee. <laughs> Cash is crying. He wants to use a litter box, but he wants to go out to use said litter box. Oh, he did just go out? Oh my god, Bagel. 
What a weirdo. Uh-oh. Was that the Charles whistle, or was that the, hey, you're in an area whistle? I can't tell. Now I can. Now I can. There he is, the boy. There's the boy. Charles, leave me alone. Gun, hurry up. Get out of here, Charles. Holy shit, it takes forever for this fucking gun to cool down. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. He's gone. All right, well... Stop the train now. No, Charles, get out of my head! I'm glad someone else knew exactly what I was thinking of. Let's repair the train a bit. Charles, get out of my head! Okay, I missed the previous stream of this, and yeah, I can honestly see why one would want the warning. See, I think it's hilarious, but again, we established I'm dead inside, so... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I have to go all the way around again. Damn it, Charles. Yeah, you're not remotely a valid metric. Fair enough. Ugh, I have to go all the way around here to get back to where we were because we just happened to go past the... Uh, the um, the junction and there's no way to there's no switch I could find to go back the other way so we have to go the long way in reverse. Yay! The irony was I literally set us up last time we played this to go to that exact same spot in case because of that exact thing and we're having to do it again on stream now. John thinks the Saw movies are a comedy. That's all you need to know about his sense of horror. I'm, I'm sorry. I, just, I think they're hilarious. They are hilarious. They actually are. They're like my favorite quote-unquote horror movies. There's like only one part that's made me wince in some movies. And that's in uh, two when she gets yep. thrown into the. Uh, yep, that's it too. The needle. syringe room, the needle pit. Yep. that's the, the only time room. in Saw I've winced. Yep. That's the only trap that's gotten me, and that's simply because I've had so many needles growing up that I'm just I'm like, nope. I feel the pain of that one. What does scare you, John? Being alone. <laughs> Never a fun feeling for that one. I mean, here's the thing, too. Uh, the, the, the real answer is, like, uh, because I can, like, I have a really strong ability to, like, discern fiction from reality. And that completely, like, also tones down the amount of, like, fear I get from it as a result. So that's one of the main reasons that, like, it doesn't really do anything to me. Alright, this time can we do this without getting attacked by Charles? Just let you know you can repair the train while you move. Oh, I know! But, we're already repaired, and it, it's not like it takes that long. I 
think you would like alien isolation as it relates it relies on atmospheric horror the xenomorph can uh, jump you but it's different than other jump scares I find uh it's a it was a little more like jump scary than I needed it to be the bit of it I played because I played it at e3 and then we played it for a um, a uh, chaos fortune cookie once oh that's the thing I'm not remembering. We've got a date for Chaos Fortune Cookie, the last bonus stream. That's why I felt like something was supposed to be on my schedule and it wasn't. Uh, as long as nothing changes the 20th, we'll have the last bonus stream for Chaos Fortune Cookie. Nice, nice. As long as nothing changes. Ma'am, what what are you doing? I need my pickles. Okay, that's fair. I ate the last jar of pickles okay. I had in my house, and there's only one jar of pickles left on the island. My secret jar of pickles, locked away inside my pickle cave. I would have gotten them hours ago. But I lost my pickle cave! Someone else on the island might have some lock pickles. I mean, lock picks. And if you can bring me my special jar of pickles, I'll give you all the scrap metal I have as a reward. Okay. Well, she's got one. I can see it in the house. So where is this? Oh, that is very far away. All right, well, let's go to the pickle cave. Or <laughs> name. Would she also love pickle Rick? Oh yeah, absolutely. Funniest thing she's ever seen. <laughs> Th thank you. That's an explosions warning. Steal that. Ooh, paint. Now we can have a purple train. Scrap metal. Give me all the scrap. Pickles! Pickle, pickles! Pick, 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 pickles. Pickle. Oops. There we go. Critical item acquired. Jar of pickles. The pickle lady's jar of pickles. She desperately needs them. Deliver them to her immediately. I'm serious. Don't hesitate. Deliver them now. Whenever you do, don't make eye contact with the pickles. Glad she stored them in a room full of explosives. As you do. Keep running. Deliver them pickles. John, help. I look the pickles in the eyes. What do I do now? Don't tell anyone. Especially her. But they've, but they've told us. Oh, we don't count. We're safe. Oh, come on, Charles. Not now. 
Ma'am, I need you to let me in your house. in your house for the pickles or for the for the god damn it for the for the pickles <laughs> for, for the, the pickles. scraps and she's got me doing it i love the pickles pickles are the love pickles are the life i love the pickles they make me feel the happiness pickles 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 you think charles is gonna let me get back to the train in time Waluigi train, baby! Oh shit, didn't mean to run out. Okay. Well, I guess this works because we hit a junction anyways. Back up just a tiny bit. Go Kai, where did you find that account? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I give to the sub to pickle fucker. Be very surprised at the amount of accounts that exist out there. Yeah, that's fair. So many joke ones, so many real ones. I regret doing that now. I've got no repair scraps. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We're tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks, where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all the infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a risk here. Captain Joe find, uh, gifts us up to Pickles Are Delicious. NPC down here somewhere. My legs. Hello, sir. Oh my goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. Someone discovered Graham Graham sixty nine on Jared's channel. My God. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please, bring the journal next time you're here. Dude, I Dude, think at this point, you can probably part with the journal. Maybe. If the murder train's coming after you, you might be okay parting with that journal. Hey, John, do you think that's bad? Hmm. Check this out. What'd you do? <laughs> this is the worst name I've seen recently. <laughs> oh. Breastfeeding Obama. Okay, so is that Obama is doing the breastfeeding or is Obama being breastfed? <laughs> the implications are very wild. The possibilities are endless, too! The 
better question, which is the worst option? I mean, they're all kind of the worst option to think about, but... But if I've learned anything about being on the internet, you just kind of got to roll with the punches. Because there are so many punches. Mm -hmm. That's why I try not to let a lot of like the weird shit around like on the internet bother me. Maybe, maybe that's why I'm so lackadaisical for, for some things. That's why like a lot of the weird shit that happens here tends to not bother me. Maybe I'm the broken one. Dude, why is your house so fucking far away? Let's go do that, I guess. It's not apathy, it's PTSD. Ah! It all makes sense now. Vinny of Vine Sauce has a clip where he doesn't read chat names out loud, instead he's calling everyone chat member. That also tracks. I could see that I'm doing that. Should I go talk to this other NPC to get another mission, or should I just go knock this one out now? I wonder. Yeah, let's do that. Stop the train. Man, this leaves scrap metal everywhere. This place kicks ass. Yes, I am, Sasha, who's very clearly staring at me. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. Exactly 16. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find, the go find those eight pictures that are just attached to things. I wonder what that could be a reference to. Hmm. No idea. For the past hmm. seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over to there to clear my mind, as I often do, and found a strange drawing pinned to a lamppost. I took down the page and burned it because it seemed like the best way to deal with paranormal paper. Next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings multiple nights in a row, and now they're accompanied by horrific, ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is the place is haunted. Maybe our, by our lost crew members? Maybe by something else. Alright, well, um... Let's go to the boulder field, I guess. Let's get this Slenderman reference out of the way. <laughs> Captain Joe, give this up to Charles the Train 38. Oh, boy. <laughs> Gokai gives us up to Slenderman's tits. I'm actually a little disappointed, Gokai, because I definitely thought it was going to be Slenderman tits, which I thought would have been way funnier. All right, here we go. Let's grab these paintings, or these drawings. Yep, there's one. Oh no, someone's trying to start up a song from Doom. Oh my god, are they actually full-blown Slenderman right now? That's hilarious. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Incredible. That kicks ass. Alright, that whips ass. Alright, number three. Look at all the smoke this guy's leaving behind! He's driving an invisible motorcycle! That fucking rules! It's kinda of rules, honestly. Scrap metal. 
He's literally just driving an invisible motorcycle. That fucking kicks ass. I really feel like Master of Puppets is trying to start. <laughs> Good it song. just can't. It just can't. Uh, you know what the shitty thing is? I think he keeps coming towards me if I look at my map, so I might have to just keep running around to find these. <laughs> Stop taking down my art! I worked hard on these! Vroom vroom! <laughs> Do I know how I was to find fucking paper around here? Train keeps taking everyone away from me. I can't go down to no Michaels. Ain't got no craft stores around here. I had to use the trees. Do you know how hard it is to make paper from trees? <laughs> scrap. Oh, I hear Charles's whistle too. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to choose between getting Slenderman or getting Charles. Both options kind of blow. You should have them fight. I I kind of want that to happen if I'm being real. <laughs> you talk about Master of Puppets and me think. Have you seen that video where it's like Master of Puppets, but every time they say Master, it gets faster? Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> Mr. Motorcycle Man, I'm trying to find your pictures. You're making this too difficult. I think he's bad at turning, apparently. There's one. Alright, so we need two more. But again, I can't look at the fucking map, so it's a little hard to figure out the best way through these. There's another one. Oh, he might get me on this one. Looks like it's going pretty fast now. There's number eight. No! Fuck you! Or did I get it? Holy shit, I think I did it. Mm, no, I don't think I did. He actually warped me away. Yeah, he warped me away. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, crap. Because we couldn't look at the map, I have no fucking clue where that last one was. Hi, motorcycle man. Yeah, all he does is warp me randomly, so he's not actually a threat. But that sucks. We found the eighth page. We just didn't pick it up. Mm. I have no fucking clue where that was. He literally is. He's literally just driving an invisible motorcycle. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, hey, a side quest. Oh, boy. Ooh, peace candy. I love side quests. Child's drawing, drawn by a child who clearly failed their arts and crafts class. <laughs> wow. Clear. Drag him. Drag him. Drag him. Ballsy. Got some scrap. That was glowing that I could pick it up. More scrap, more scrap. How are we doing on scrap? 17. We will have the strongest train. I will do my best to make this train so powerful. It will become the new Charles. So by getting stronger, we overtake Charles, therefore being our own exactly. Charles. Exactly, we become the next to inherit the Charles legacy. 
hears whistle. Keanu Reeves. Welcome to Araniram, <laughs> archivist museum person. John Wick. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon, but the goons have set up a camp to protect that area, so be careful. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. Alright, where's this? Oh, that is actually pretty far away. Let's go find Slender Motorcycle Man's last drawing. Oh, there's Charles. Look at him go! I want to, I want to see him fucking break into the house. That's what I want to see. He's down there because you can see the light from him. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> that dude just fucking teleported back. The cap. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> it's safe now. That train was fucking scooting. to that. Someone mentioned earlier this game is actually only made by one person for the most part. Uh, yeah. I, like, because I, I think this this started as like a meme and then they just decided to like make a silly trailer then they're like, okay. Oh, oh shit. Uh -oh. Hi, Charles. How you doing? <laughs> Are we stuck? <laughs> He'll give up eventually. <laughs> Could you little shit get out of there? All right, so he's probably waiting for the way we're going, by the way. You, I hope you're all aware of this. Like, I'm going to fucking run for it, and he's absolutely going to be there. And it's going to be fucking hilarious. If you had to give Tutu Charles a voice, like, who, who would you cast for him? Ooh. Hmm. Dave Mustaine. <laughs> Here's the problem. So... Charles is very clearly a reference to Thomas the Tank Engine, and when I think yes. Thomas the Tank Engine, I think Ringo Starr. I kind of want to hear Ringo Starr with his deadpan monotone voice voicing Charles. <laughs> that would be kind of incredible, actually. I'm coming to get you, archivist, said, said Charles. I'm riding my invisible motorcycle today. I like to think it's like Rowan Atkinson instead. Just oh, <laughs> Rowan Atkinson would also be a good option. You know what? I'd accept that. Hey, Mr. Mr. Bean himself. There. Can we... <laughs> there you go. Care careful about that one. <laughs> yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Smoke, smoke, smoke weed every day. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Damn, son, where'd you find this? Okay, God, we have classic. Holy shit! We have no idea where this last fucking piece is, and that's gonna make this a pain in the ass. Is that the shed we were hiding in? It's a different shed. It's hard to. Oh, this is that indeed was the shed we were hiding in. Okay.
Yeah, not having any marker we can use for this because of the nature of this is gonna be infuriating. Like, it was one of the outside rings, right? That's what it seemed like? Like, wait. Let's just go around the outside and hope for the best. Damn it. That's what I get for trying to stop for scrap. You're about 70 meters away from the center. Hmm. I can't look at the map. That's lame. Fuck. Okay, that sucks. That's lame. That was lame. I knew you were waiting for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I had to really quickly open Audacity and like cut that part specifically, so I'm glad you died just as I finished. <laughs> How are you doing no time? Oh, that sucks. Mm. Uh, we're gonna fuck up Charles. We're gonna up that damage as much as we can. But now I gotta do all this shit all over again. Hopefully it remembers. Hopefully it remembers all the other stuff we had. What do, you suppose is a, what do you suppose is a train's greatest weakness that is not rust? Bullets. Bullets? Hmm. Rockets. Rocket bullets. I was, I was gonna say, uh, what's the name of the car right behind the engine? The one that has all, like, the fuel? Uh, it has a name, doesn't it? Uh... It's usually fuel car, isn't it? Probably it's something like that. Tender. Tender car. Something like that. I would assume that's its weakness, because, you know, that's where all the flammable stuff is. Gameplay-wise, I'm not gonna lie, I am over this uh, Slenderman bit. I get why it's in here, and I get why it is the way it is, but man, this kind of blows chunks. Why is it it's hard to see the ages? Because that's the whole Slenderman bit. Is this just like a joke game, I guess, or...? No, Dude, this, this is, is a, a serious this is a joke game. Bit. Hey, hi, Wang. Check it out, Hi Wang, we're being chased by an, a man on an invisible motorcycle. Let's see him here in a second, hang on. Here he comes, look at him go, he's driving, he's driving, great. And puts us back here. All right. Who's that well, supposed to be? Mm -hmm. I guess that's, that's the... Thought this was a spider train? Oh, there's a spider train too, but we just happen to also be being chased by an invisible motorcycle man. You know, as you do.
Hi Wang, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, we beat one game tonight, we beat Nuclear Blaze, and now we're currently trying to beat Choo Choo Charles. So, Choo Choo Charles, we can, we started on Saturday stream, and we're just continuing that file now. Uh, and we're, I'd say, how much do we have left on, oh, god damn it, no, put that back. Um, we're like halfway done, I think, because like, we gotta talk to those three people. I think the yellow ones are like, uh, which one are mandatory? I think red are mandatory? No, red is weapon. Yeah, okay, the blue ones are required. Alright, so we, well, we got like eight NPCs and a couple side quests we're doing right now. This will probably take another hour, hour and a half. But right now, the problem is right now, we're we're doing a Slenderman parody right now, and we have to find eight pages of children's drawings drawn by a child who clearly failed their arts and crafts class. Problem is, uh, no marker for exactly where it is, just a general area, and as you saw, that motorcycle ghost is chasing us around and is generally making things annoying. It's they just teleport you randomly? Yeah. Did you say it's Keanu? <laughs> yeah. No, Keanu, Keanu was the guy that we met that, uh, put us on a different mission. Keanu wants us to go, uh, go destroy that camp or whatever it was. Got a city to burn. I feel like I'm running out of possible lampposts to even check at this point. I'm beginning to wonder if I actually got the last one and it just didn't count it. Oh, oh, oh. Grab it, grab it, grab it! Got it. Nice. It's gone. Oh. It's, it's, sorry, it's left trigger for map. I keep pressing the wrong button. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. Much quieter. You know, except for Charles. He's probably around there somewhere. The one time the random teleporting might have actually been helpful, because it would have gotten us back there faster. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I hurt my legs again. My leg? Oh shit, there's Charles. Oh. Sound all right, by the way. The yeah, table. I've been hearing that apparently I sat. I've been like coming you through weird. In you other are people's a little staticky calls. and a little louder than usual, but that's about it. Here are some scraps for your. No idea what the hell happened. It didn't change anything. Okay, I can't go in her house to get away from Charles, so I should probably get back on the train as soon as I can. Okay. We don't need to be that zoomed in. No, we're going here. I don't even really need to move the train. Here. Uh. Damn it! Almost enough for max level tr uh, damage. Let's put it in speed. Rain hell. You all right? No, I just I just love the concept of train health. Oh, I heard brain health, not train health. Oh. I mean, that yeah, too, but train health. Does time move while looking at the map? Yes, it does. I unfortunately found out earlier. Yeah. What the fuck's this dude's journal? This is the house for the journal, isn't it? Oh, there was another room. Oh, it's got a little heart on it! A large journal owned by Santiago from the port. Bring it to him for a reward. I heard I'm in hell. Okay, what the fuck's up with my leg? Alright. 
point. A little bit of scrap. Let's pop back in here for a second so I can look at the map. Um, hmm. And Theodore's mission's all the way down there. Probably faster just to go back to Santiago. Let's go hop in, our old purp in a little purple train. Read the journal? I can't, unfortunately. 13 scraps, not enough for any upgrades. Hmm. Okay, so we already talked to Theodore, and his mission's in there. And, oops, no, 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 no. Go back, put the mark in the right spot. Like, we, what is this? What is this compound? Is that the temple I need to put all the eggs in? Oh, that is definitely a temple. So the actual objective we're doing right now is we need to find three eggs and put them in a temple. Because that's the only way to make Charles stop running away from us when we've damaged him enough. So, so far we only have, we have one egg. Is that like an arachnophobia warning? Uh, sure. That's a way to put it, it yeah. Yeah, if, if you do not like spiders, you will not enjoy Charles. If you do not like trains, you will also not enjoy Charles. And that's touche there. Here's your damn book. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. I would hope for your own good that you didn't peek inside. Trust me, I tried. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. Did you actually try? I did try. It didn't let me. you? No. Oh, I see. Per perhaps it's a forced game over if you actually got into the journal. That would be kind of funny, actually. It's a map! I think. Yo, it's the island we're on. Yeah, which we already have a map of. I've been praying someone from the first evacuation group would just send back another boat, but I guess they all think that Georgia's supply boat is still evacuating people. They're all safe and cozy on the mainland, but feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. I know that Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect, but still, to think I would have left this place by now, it makes me sick. That train took out a boat. Finally, we know who would, who would win in the vehicle war. I think we got enough scrap now to... Ooh, paint. Gray. I was hoping that was going to be blue. But now, at least, we have a new color for our train. And enough scrap to, I think, get the weapon damage to level 10. There we go. Heavy hitter achievement unlocked. There we go. And armor's at level 9. We need to go back slightly and then go forward. I think there was also a paint can near that Keanu Reeves dude. I mean, we got to go back to him in a minute anyways, so... So that'll work out. Because that's Theodore, I'm pretty sure. So when you fight Charles, he just backs off? Yeah, when you do enough damage to him, he just leaves. But if we get all three eggs and put them at the center of the temple, then uh, we can fight him to the death. Sounds so sad. Mm hmm. Because this was where Theodore was, right? Yes. 
so... Oh, yeah, how's the gray paint look? I didn't even look. I don't know what I expected, but... <laughs> sure is. Put that purple back on. Uh, where do you think the paint can was? Do you think it's in the room with the door, or do you think it's just around here? Yo, G Wolf, how you doing, my dude? G Wolf. Keanu Reeves, do you have any paint for me? On the second floor. Oh shit, you're right, we ran past it. White! Thank you. If you know where any of the other paint is, I'd gladly just take the advice on it at this point. Eh. Looks very old timey. Mm. Let me go with the go with the, the nice orange for now. Are you gonna see that Winnie the Pooh horror movie, Blood and Honey? Probably when it comes out uh, on like digital. I'm not gonna go to the theaters for it. Did you see they're doing that, but with Bambi as well? Yeah, and Peter Pan supposedly. Yeah, mm. it's like interesting. I'll say that. Why not have fun with it? Go hmm. fucking wild. It is a nice white, you're right. Alright, so I think he warned me that there was like people with shotguns around here, so we're probably gonna need to sneak. I'm sorry, did you say horror version of Bambi? Yes. I believe by the same group that's doing the Winnie the Pooh one. Dude whistling. Yep, there he is. People are mentioning like evil Peter Pan as if that has been done twice. Oh. Dude's pretty fast. Yeah, I, I expect them to start shooting at you. He does have a shotgun. That's true. But he's a hobo. You know, a hobo with a shotgun, if you will. I wonder if he can get me up here. Never, came never did see that movie. Oh shit, he can. Uh oh. I don't remember what I'm even looking for. Oh, it's something in the boxcar, isn't it? Hi. I can't believe that worked! Oh, okay. Run, run. He's still chasing me? He's still chasing me. I wonder if there's anything out here, out, else out here I can pick up. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, thank god he's a- oh, I'm stuck. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. I got stuck. Damn Over. it. That was going good, but I, I think it gives me credit for picking up the thing, though. I think so. Hopefully. And I that actually might be a death warp, because it should warp me back to the train. Let's hope it actually gave you your stuff. Hell yeah, it did. Blue box. Stranger blocks. It belongs to Theodore from the rail yard. Bring to him for a reward. <laughs> Time. <laughs> what? Fucking time to use call command. Oh, here they come. Click back down the track. Old trains. John, new trains. Nyko, fast trains. Popsky, slow trains. Time thief. Diesel trains and passenger trains. Even trains that plow through snow. That's the exact box I needed. Now take these scraps and skid. Why am I the slow train? You're the fast no, train. No, you're the fast train. I'm the oh, slow okay. train. Okay. Why am I the new train? Is it because I'm the youngest one here? Sure. Okay. Probably. <laughs> what, you want to be the old train? No, that's you, I think. That is me, yeah. He was the first train here. This is his train, technically. I guess it is his train, yeah. We're all like the cars just... in the train. You mean you mean the the cars? <laughs> I know you heard what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
What do we got left to do? Uh, let's go do these ones up here, I guess. Because we get a new right. weapon if we do that. So, slap her in reverse. Alright, apparently next time we play this, if we ever do, we should be putting points into speed, because this is making it go way better. Okay, that's not just our, on our end. Uh, you're roboting a bit. God damn it. Hang on. Gonna mute us all. A little bit better now. Check, check, checkity check. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds better. Don't know what happened there. Hmm. How old was your mic again? I had this one for five years. Four? Five years? Okay. Any idea which one you would want to upgrade towards? I don't know. I gotta figure out a new microphone and everything. That's that's the plan for this year is to figure out a bunch of shit like that. Mm hmm Making plans for a new intro and everything, too. Oh, uh, yeah, dog. I think, I think I said this year is gonna be the year of, uh, rebuilding. So, we're gonna, we're gonna redo a lot of stuff. Rebuild stronger, John Van Gogh. Faster, stronger. I said stronger twice, don't worry about it. <laughs> the 60 billion double dollar man. I mean, all I can think of was the stupid, uh, robot chicken youth they did. Six million peso, man. <laughs> when I think of robot chicken, I can't help but think of the fucking, uh, Mario and Luigi go to Raccoon City bit. I feel like I remember that one. Was that but... Raccoon City? I remember Grand Theft Auto. I... Did they do, did they do oh, both? No. No, I know what it was now. I know what it was now. They did go to Grand Theft Auto. They went to Vice City. It's just that Yoshi at the end of the skit goes to Raccoon City. Uh, oh. That's what it is. Okay. Was oh, it, they apparently was that both. Before or after they, like, started using, like, actual, like, figures of the characters, and not just, like, a short humanoid character with a red hat and a mustache and called them Mario. <laughs> to, like, avoid copyright. I think they actually use actual figures. Mm. I wasn't there one where they like had like an Animal Crossing, but they went to Raccoon City. Was that actually Robot Chicken, or was that something else? I can't think of anything oh, no. else that would do that other than just like a random ass YouTube video. Maybe like Mad TV or something would have done it. I don't know. Maybe. I'm still remembering when like fucking Robot Chicken did a Kingdom Hearts parody. I thought that was super weird. What is Damn. this, and can I take it home with me? Oh my god. Design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Okay. Popsky, did you voice in this game? Yep. Oh man, congratulations. Nice. <laughs> I guess Nintendo did get the Robot Chicken team to do their sketches back in 2014 for E3, yeah. Yeah, but like er like early, early Robot Chicken, like, kind of just did their own thing and they didn't like bother to make them look realistic. Like, I still remember like one of the very first SpongeBob sketches they did. They had like a sponge and a starfish, but they're like the wrong colors because they just didn't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, it was like a while before they actually cared. Where's Mother 3? Yeah, that, that's always a good one. I'll do you one better. Zap. So many doors I can't open. 
What even are doors? Nuisances at the moment. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Yes, Greg the Shirtless Man. He mentioned you in great detail. Uh, n name's Greg, by the way. Can't stop turning my head. In case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mind boss, trying to pop his neck. keeping three monster eggs locked away. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Uh, one, one of the eggs is, is in the north mine. Uh, here's, here's the key to the entrance. Oh, that is not where I thought that was going to be. Okay. This is John, very far away. Where did come from? Uh, when a mommy train and a daddy train love each other very much. <laughs> they lay an mm -hmm. egg. They cause a two-car pileup. Is that what they mean by multi thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that's exactly what they mean. Yeah, Initial D was actually a maternal story. It was very fascinating. I oh, yes. Initial D, that famous anime about trains. Yeah. Where's Charles? There's Charles. Hey, Charles. How you doing? Charles. Hey, buddy. He's trying. He's gonna get up on the stairs somehow. I'm calling it. Oh, shit. Or I'm gonna do that. Oh, he's... He's... He's trying. He is trying. It's gonna, the game's gonna let him, I bet you. The game has got just enough jank to let him get up there. He's trying so hard, though! Oh, oh, oh. my god, it's working! Oh He's, my adapting. God, no. He's adapting! He's <laughs> adapting! They're learning! Board? No, no, hang on. <laughs> oh, silly! Oh. I'm gonna get you. 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 I don't know what to do because I, there's no way I can run around and get away from him. Maybe. I think now's the time if I'm gonna try it. I don't have more now. I think I saw a squirrel over there. I'm gonna go over there now. Bye. <laughs> it's so fun watching you do dumb things to break games. This is why I don't find games fucking scary, man. Because you can just do weird ass shit like this. When you when you realize that a scary situation is just a game to play around with, it kind of gives you a lot of power in the situation. Wait until the cardboard sun comes out. But here's the problem now. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna get uh, betrayed by this, and we're, the train's gonna get us. Because to get out to this guy is going to be a lot of walking. John, can I gain my anxiety to gain power over it? Sure. It's pretty much Probably. what I do. It's pretty much what I've done. Ocean Watch, day 68. Please deliver a copy to Paul. I went outside to do a routine check of the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the building, I saw that beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight up the hill in my direction. That spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on, uh, a rarinium? Instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy thinking he can handle the situation on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting and have asked Greg to bring back a copy for notes if possible. Claire. It only ran over your leg? Damn. Yeah. Like, it ate me like five times. We haven't met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. Okay. 
To find a place new breakers to repair the lighthouse. There you go. Always one door that doesn't open. Just grab some scrap metal from the beach. Just washed up on the shore, I guess. Just like driftwood. Ow, my leg. <laughs> or a bottle. Man, that must be so fascinating to like find a message in a bottle, like just on a beach somewhere, right? Cause like you never know like how far it's like it came from, how old it could be. Like there's a lot of fascinations like to a message in the bottle. It is a cool idea, and there's a there's some kind of romanticism about it of just like mm -hmm. the idea of it just being like you said, so like so many facets to it. Imagine if you found hmm? Imagine if you found a bottle in the ocean. And you went and picked it up and had a message, and it was just a flyer that said, Don't pollute, and throw trash in the ocean. Yeah. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Yeah. <laughs> don't do this. If you do this, you will die. <laughs> like I did. Right after I threw this bottle into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the bottle has now affected you. Throw this bottle in the next five seconds, or you will pass out. It's just <laughs> junk mail. <laughs> I like to think, right, the bottle, like, if you don't get rid of it in time, it just, like, drags you down into the sand, and it makes you experience high tide. Hang on, hang on a minute. My friend met his now wife because he wrote his number in a bottle and chucked it into the ocean? No shit. That's no. awesome, dude. No way. Send five bottles to all your friends. It's just, the message is just, we've been trying to reach you about your boat's extended warranty. <laughs> Here are those scraps, I promise. Do you want any help with, like, your leg or anything? No, alright. Bye. No. No, I'm okay. I can handle it. Claire, your voice sounds so different. Yeah, yeah, you know, when I get the... Once my leg fe felt better, you know, things just changed. <laughs> my voice dropped a few octaves after I broke my leg. Turns <laughs> out that you just speak from your leg the whole time. Who knew? That's where the vocal cords are. <laughs> it's ironic, they call them vocal cords, and really they're more like knee cords. Just quickly hop in here. We got a raid coming in here. We do. <clears throat> a tiny one. <laughs> Pokemon Scarvo. Or Scarvy. I think it's Scarvo when it's clearly like Scarvio or Scarvy. Alright, there we go. Armor upgraded on the train to maximum. That's a sturdy ass train. Look, it's got horns and everything! Ah, nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you say, it's it's C H A D. So it'd be Chad or Chad Spec uh, Spieler. Chad Spieler V T. Thank you for the raid. Chad. Okay. Chad. Thank you for the raid. Uh, we're playing some uh, Choo Choo Charles, as you can see. We're, we're decently far in the game, but there's like a couple of spots I want to check out because there's just like a bunch of things where I haven't had to run to and I'm wondering if there's anything there because the game hasn't told me to go to these spots yet. I recommend you to him. Oh, thank you, Miracle Cap. Just appreciate it. Yeah, well, it's good to see new people here. All right, let's risk it. For the biscuit? Uh, well, it might be the spider train biscuit in a minute if we're not careful. Or I don't, I don't want my, I don't want my biscuits with like no spiders or trains. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that might that might happen though if we don't make it. That's what we gotta be careful I like, about. But I, I like my biscuits laced with like butter and honey. I definitely thought you were gonna say something else like laced with cocaine. <laughs> no, what are we like a fucking bear? Yeah, exactly, not cocaine much. bear. This is yeah. just a marketing tie-in for cocaine bear the entire time. 
God, I hope they actually make a tie-in game for that. That'd be just I, fun I kinda and stupid. I kind of hope so, too. I miss the era of, like, marketing tie-in video games, man. I don't really get those anymore. Oh, well, most of them were kind of bad, so I don't miss it that much, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, <clears> but... Give me something insane, and then maybe I'm like, okay, no, maybe I'm in. I, I feel like for every, like, bad one, there's always, like, like Diamond in the Rough. Like, X-Men Origins, Wolverine having a better video game than a movie. Yeah... That was four. A lot of scrap. There we go. Nice, nice. What do you got for scrap? 19. Think that's enough for another speed upgrade? Mario movie tie in. <laughs> Imagine that, they're making a Mario video game. Who would think? Tie in with a movie. <laughs> would ah, next, next year, someone made a Sonic video game after the movie. Legit though, I do wonder if they're actually gonna do uh, something like that, like game, make a movie that goes alongside the game, or just announce the new Mario game to go along with the movie. I could see them doing that, but we'll see. The yeah, the last time I could think of where they did that was Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> but the Ratchet and Clank was also a remake, basically, of the first game, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had a pretty strong baseline to go with. I was watching like that with some friends recently. It seemed just kind of eh. Uh, the movie that is. Yeah, I always heard that for some reason. Which is kind of a bummer because I love Ratch and Clank. And honestly, the humor should have loaned itself to a movie pretty easily. I've never played the series myself. All I own is like the PS4 game based on the movie. And everyone always tells me don't start with that one. <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's bad or it's just i just hear it's just not a good starting point i mean that's what i first that's what i first that's the only project playing game i've ever played i didn't know, i didn't dislike it fair i guess it just depends on like how much of the like series like do i want to like play and or get into from what i've heard it's not a bad <laughs> game it's just bland mm -hmm. yeah I think, I think that's the actual issue like Please. i think i got it free when i bought it a PS4 on Black Friday, so I was like, eh, for a free game, it's not bad. Uh, I see a comment in chat, at least the Ratchet movie gave them games VA's top billing. No, they didn't. <laughs> oh, the fucking top, the top billing for that movie, I think, was like, the was like the secondary villain. Yeah. And who were they voiced by? Oh, I have to double check here. Hang on. Oh, damn it, Charles. Paul Giamatti is the first yeah, name I see on there. But who did yeah. Paul Giamatti voice in the movie? Chairman Alonzo Drek. Who was voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson in the video game. Or rather, in the original game. Yeah, and the second... And the second one is John Goodman for, as Rad. Grim Rad. Yeah, he was like he, he in that movie is basically like Ratchet's like adoptive father. Interesting. I mean, John Goodman's a great like actor. I love John Goodman. Yeah, Ratchet's voice actor is fifth on the poster. Yeah. Jesus Christ. At least with like a song movie, I can understand like having Jim Carrey, like, near the start, because, you know, Dr. Robotic, at least it's, like, the main villain. Even if it's it does like, kind of stuff, that Sonic's not, like, the main top billing, just because it's, you know, oh, you're a voice actor, you're not, like, a real actor, which is bullshit. <laughs> there but... goes Charles! <laughs> it's, it's bad bullshit. Yeah, no, it's, like, Jim Carrey, I can see, because it's, like, Dr. Robotnik is a very, ma is a main character in that whole story, and he is a character. What? Just hit you. Oh, I I got stuck in midair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone said there was paint in the corner. And then we see the net spider train in its natural habitat. Was that upstairs? Because I haven't seen it down here. Must be upstairs. Perhaps so. Let's 
Karen seems to have very brittle, bro very brittle bones. They fixed themselves, though. It's self self regenerating. It must be fascinating to be a video game character. Like, as long as your screen doesn't go too red, like you could just live through anything. Yeah, pretty much. Are you an, are you an X Man? <laughs> One singular X Man. <clears throat> oh, it was a lantern, not paint. Okay. Being a mutant in like the like X Men universe is interesting because sometimes you get like the cool powers like storms or like wolverines and whatnot, and then sometimes you get lame shit like oh I made out of glass. <laughs> it's like oh. Okay. They call me Glass Joe. I, the I think most the coolest powerful X Men. I think the coolest X Men I've seen that I don't really know much about, but like I I've seen their powers like it's like I forget the guy's name, but like it's this dude who can like adapt to anything and just like evolves go be like beyond that like it just sounds like such a sick power what the hell is this darwin darwin yeah could be worse you just, you could just have angel wings <laughs> <laughs> but they're steel uh in the movie they weren't they were feathers right yeah they were straight feathers Oh, actually, I think because he starts off like that, and when he becomes Archangel, that's when he gets, like, the adamantium yeah, he, wings. He, yeah, he tears them off. Oh, sick. Oh, right, I have to go over here. I forgot about that. I gotta get the box of rockets. I I like all the uh, Fox X-Men movies, for some <laughs> strange reason. Crap, I've crap, only crap, seen X-Men Origins Wolverine and Logan, and that's it. I'd like to watch the others, though. I've heard, like, the Days of Future Past and all those are, like, really Day good. Days of Future Past was pretty entertaining. And First Class was pretty good, too. Like, you have to, yeah. you have to not get too uppity about the lore, because some of it's like, oh, this isn't accurate. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but if you pay no mind to that, there was, like, a fun popcorn movie. I can control one of the fundamental aspects of reality! I have sharp toes. <laughs> my tongue is really long. Oh, I'm just fat. Like, That's really long. Power. Oh, toad. Where... Is that box of rockets? It should have been where I put that marker at. I have a bow staff and I throw cards. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool though. <laughs> Gambit's tight. But Gambit's cool damn. as hell, man. Well, Gambit at least oh. isn't just. Gambit's thing is that he's just like, I choose to throw playing cards because he's like, I make kinetic energy. Like that that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sense. Like anything I touch, I can charge so it explodes. Which I think is kind of badass. And I'm going to run. It's a shame we never got that, like, uh, Gambit movie with, um, I believe it was Channing Tatum. No, I'm good on that, buddy. Channing Tatum <laughs> is, is Gambit? I don't know how I would feel about that. It was more so, like, the movie itself I would have been interested in, not nearly the casting. If only Keanu was the younger. Yeah. He would have fucking killed it. Absolutely. Mm. It's like a literal box of rockets. It's just a fucking cardboard box. Why is it shaking? Rocket launcher one... ammunition testing. Version 1 failed. Version 2 failed. Version 3, 13 second flight. Version 4 success. Nice. Another raid. Yeah, look at that. Sentry visuals, thank you for the raid as well. I can't every time I have to move a mouse like that. There we go. Everyone's coming in to see Choo Choo Charles. They're all excited about it. Another Pokemon there. Hope nice. that was fun. Have you played any more Pokemon yourself, John? No, not since not since we made Ass Greens. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. How much scrap do I have? Forty-one. And the path to the train is not exactly short. This is gonna suck. When you say choo choo, I get a bit confused. Oh, because choo choo chowder. <laughs> Change your name. That's all. Don't do that. <laughs> no, don't, don't. 
<laughs> you want to play Choo Choo Rocket after this? Mm? Yeah. God, I I've heard good things about that game. Never played it though. It. Oh, I like Choo Choo Rocket a lot. I know, like, Mads told me about it. Like, I think you guys played together, like, a PAX or something one year. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Dreamcast games. And the GBA one's a great puzzle game. Okay, we need to go back to him, I believe. John Smith. Oh, hey, Charles. Charles. Luca has polypenius. Oh Halopinius. yeah, Halopinius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remind of the Resident Evil 5 mission where you're just like on like, the turret and just fighting the big fucking like giant. Yeah, but at least you could cool down the fucking gun in that game. This is the thing I hate about this one, it just takes so long to cool down. Off, Charles. Get out of my mind, Charles! Get out of my mind! Oh, the train's slowing down. I think he broke the train. He definitely broke the train. It just looks like the... What the... What's the... The ice cream truck from Twisted Metal. Sweet Tooth? Uh, Sweet Tooth? That's the, yeah. I don't know why Charles' face just reminds me of Sweet Tooth. Max speed, but now we've only got 10% health in our train, so every piece of scrap we pick up from here on out is going to be put towards making the fixing the train. Oh, they just got an upgraded, like, train fully. Got my mind, Charles! Oh, there we hang on, there's some scrap. Because this is where we were earlier. We went in the other way, so we didn't see half this shit. Come on, come on, anything else? Nope. I will assume it's a finite amount. Well, I mean, any any scrap they give me from here on out just goes into keeping the train topped up. That's about it. Mm -hmm. There we go. I assume every piece will make it go a little faster again since it's pretty wrecked look at all look at all the holes in this thing <laughs> fucking charles why damn it, charles is my nice train thinking swap weapons to avoid the cooldown oh is that true that would be a game changer but I need more than just this fucking flamethrower cuz I didn't I don't like the flamethrower this however the launcher is in complete <laughs> order so I'll let you take it from here Oh, and take good care of it. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Can do. Thanks, Bucky. You're welcome. Not to try and backseat, but since the only thing you really lose if you die is scrap, and you only need scrap to repair your train at this point, is there any reason to not jump out of the train and let Charles eat you when he shows up? Not really. I think there is a, uh, I think there's a hard difficulty mode where if you get killed, that's it. Oh, so. one of those. Mm. Gross. No, that's like an optional one. All right, let's see. The boomer damage five, range two, slowing one, fire rate one. I would expect with a rocket launcher, but makes sense. Oh, that is really slow to reload, though. Yeah, just a cardboard box full of rockets. No big. Yeah. Safe. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What do we even have left mission-wise? We've only got, uh, looks like just the ones in the corner here. So we've got one, two, three, four NPCs left and this mission up here, which is a story mission. So like, we've got almost all the optional stuff done other than just cool. looking around places. So let's go, let's go do that mission and then we'll get the, uh, the last ones up here done and then we can just wrap up the game. If I remember correctly, the cooldown timer for the weapons are for each weapon individually. So what you're supposed to do is unload your entire clip on Charles, run and grab a new rep weapon, and repeat. Weird. If 
Fun fact, the streamer who voices the rocket launcher guy has a pet doggo named Boomer, so it's likely that the rocket launcher's name is also a nod to his dog. Oh, that's cute. Aww. Is he also going to use his dog to attack people he doesn't like? I hope not. Probably won't just throw the dog at them. them. Well, probably not. I would hope not. Have we done all this? Now... Yeah, if that's... you collaborate with your dog to unleash the Angelo Cannon, that's a different story. God, God damn it. Is that... Is that eight? Yeah, it's eights, yeah. Final Fantasy uh, yeah. I still love that, that, like... Just that character becomes so fucking overpowered. Like, Renoa's the, the greatest story. Beastmaster. Like, she's Renoa's so... the greatest Beastmaster, dude. She's great. She gains so much power, and then, but she still just eats her dog. And it's a good boy. I heard you. Had, you said yeet, right? Yes. Okay. I heard yeet. Don't eat, don't eat the dog, please. Yes, Angela's do not, a good do not boy. Eat dog. Only let dog eat treat. Give dog treat. Yeah. Really? Right now, Charles? Oh man, uh, I'm ready, Linda. I'm ready for Clive to eat Torgal. <laughs> 16 is gonna be great, dude. I'm excited. It's like the one Final Fantasy, or really just one of the few games I'm looking forward to next year is Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hell yeah. I believe the Double May Cry uh, combat guy is also working on the game as well, which makes me excited for the game's combat, because bits and pieces I've seen of it has a sort of like character action sort of style to it, which makes me excited. Nice. I guess that and like Street Fighter 6 also. Man, Street Fighter 6 is like the most excited I've been for a Street Fighter in a long time, dude. Capcom's it looks so very sick. busy right, with that one. Capcom has had like a such a great resurgence over the years because man, for a while I remember I remember people used to fucking hate Capcom. <laughs> they were making some weird bonehead moves for a couple years, and they're like, oh, okay, never mind, we'll we'll stop. Yeah. All they had to do was make uh, Resident Evil spooky again, and then just went from there. Not easy. Oh yeah, I would agree. Uh, Kyle Dragonborn, fucking Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter Six's cover is terrible. Yes, it is. Yeah. I wonder if they'll change it because of that, because of the reception. I would hope so, but we'll see. Well, they changed the, the logo, didn't they? Yes, they yeah, did. Yeah, but I think that logo might have still been in a in pro in production one. So I'm not I'm not fully convinced that was actually the final one. I feel as long as the game is still as far away as it is, they have time to change the official box art. So, we'll see. Alright, let That story mode's gonna be... pretty weird, it seems. Oh yeah, mm. which I'm excited as hell for. Fuck mm. yeah. I love the minigames are, like, teaching you gameplay mechanics. Like, I saw one that was just like, here's how to parry. Oh, because it was the parry minigame from Third Strike. Yeah. The basketball awesome. ones? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, he's already uh -oh. there. Sir, I'm just looting and pillaging. Don't fucking worry about it. My favorite thing, though, is the voice actor for Luke has been, like, memeing on that shit, too. Like, he, yeah. I think he just, like, redrew the cover himself. Awesome. Ow. Ow. Please tell me he doesn't follow you in here. He probably did. You <laughs> yeah, he's in here. Oh, great. This is a labyrinth. Sir, I'm trying to steal shit. You shouldn't be here. What the? God. Hang on. There's you should be. There's two of them. Oh, okay. Make sure nobody goes near the egg. <laughs> this is what happens if you do. Can you kill this guy with a train's weapon? I don't think so. 
Wait, what killed you? The, one of the guys with the shotgun. Oh. I would assume. I'm very sure it was. Well, good news. Now we can repair our train. Because we have some scrap. Yay. There we go. And let's try again. Alright, so we know that there's a bunch of them here now. Just wish they were a little easier to spot. At least I can hear them whistling. Alright, that's the first one. So now we can actually take our time in here. Ah, okay, those guys with the guns are cultists. Alright. They're not cultists as much as they're... They work for, um... The guy who owns the Charles Company. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think they they also might be a little insane. Just, just gonna go out on a limb. They're becoming insane? No, I think they might have already hit the insane marker. Considering they're wearing, like, the fucking Charles masks. Ah, I see. That's 90 minutes. Let's at least open this up. Damn it. Blue paint! I knew I'd find it somewhere. All right, let's see if we can finish up this dungeon, and then we'll uh, we'll go to break. I guess like death or finishing the dungeon, we'll go to break. I hear two whistling now. Oh shit! No trespassing! All right. Okay, I'm leaving. Definitely left. Goodbye. Have you thought about not putting you your property goes near here? The egg. If you see anyone there, they should be there and shoot them immediately. Well, I guess they listened. The game auto saves as you play. Pick up where you left off every time. Hooray. Huh. How, how's the blue look? Looks nice on the outside. Not sold on the inside, but... Let's go with a break. Let's drop some eggs. I did, not, I did not read this full list. Oh my god. Gokai gifted a sub to Picklefucker. Captain Joe gifted a sub to Pickles Are Delicious. Maniacal gifted a sub to Breastfeeding Obama. Anonymous gifted a sub to Pickles In Your Mum. Seesaw gifted a sub to Why Do We Even Have That Lever? Uh, Geo9F17RO2 gifted a sub to Silver Kaze Ninja. Captain Joe gifted a sub to Charles the Train 38. Gokai gifted a sub to Slender Man's, Slender Man's Tits. Captain Joe gives a sub to Slender Man is watching you. Sly Guy gives a sub to Bologna Man. Awojanator gives a sub to No Limit. Skit Scott gives a sub to Cha uh yeah, Chad Splier VT. And Renault gives a sub to Igor. Random percentage for 70, Chaos King 1236 for 103, Shockwave 527 for 72, Random All Ryu for 36, Ash the Oh, that does say Washter. Ash the Washter for 5, Daniel Bonham for 43, Wolf Samurai for 108. Uh Egg Neil for 67, uh, Roland Rays for 20, and Ice Bez for 14. 
Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... What have we got in the carton? Anything? Looks like another one from Cool Al. Give me shirts! You know, you can just go to a store for those, right? You will it's give me- Two pink shirts? They are both Silent Hill shirts for some reason. Oh, it's just my pink shirts. All right, we're gonna get a break. When we come back, Art Blanc and we'll wrap up Choo Choo Charles. See you guys in a bit. Pink shirt? Pink shirt. I need to go get a glass of water. All right, Chad, you got questions? No? Okay. Somebody banned Meganerd. Get him out. shirt am I wearing? Uh, black, gray, and yellow. Favorite wrestling game? Or WrestleMania 2000. Played a WWE game once, had this, like, wild character creator to it. Which apparently is a lot of them, actually. Just bought a melee count as a wrestling game. Maybe there's a Mucha Lucha game out there somewhere for me. There are Mucha Lucha games, aren't there? Uh, I think there was one on the GBA, but that might be it. I've heard of Hell of a Boss, but I've never seen it. What's your favorite form of soup? Either pho or ramen. Both are real good. I'm Chowder. 
Good choice. Or chicken and dumpling. X4L, thank you for the raid. Did I do Century Vigils as well? I don't know if I missed theirs or not. Or not. I feel like I did do theirs. I think you did. Uh, either way, all the ones that we've had tonight, all of the smaller ones or the bigger ones, whatever, uh, let's have a little bit of Christmas cheer for y'all. Once I remember to press the right button. Thank y'all for the raids. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Art blocks. Got a couple pictures to show off. Let's look at alerts. Uh, Vanimal says, ooh, new alert. Fox McCloud with the mission accomplished. Y2K890 says, I need my pickles! The saddest ability says, the worst mutant is a poor kid whose ability is to explode. No regeneration, no defense. He can just explode like a firework. I saw a page where Beast had to explain it to the poor kid. Oh, God. Like oh, God. It just, it, it just does it once? Yeah, that's it. And he dies. He just He's Ooh. just a living bomb. Ooh. That's gotta suck. Yeah. His power was to explode no only once. Like Daffy Duck. Alright, let's go over to our block. Alright, starts with the Runaway Guys RPG cover here from Xenix. Uh, a redraw of an old piece I did a while back. Old version posted on here later. I've been wanting to redo this piece for a while now, but it took a while to finish. I hope you like it. Emil in his classic polo shirt. I've got my old toque on and my hoodie. And Tim's got a giant toilet paper scarf. Fantastic. Nice look for this. And here's the old one for comparison. Oh, I remember this old one. Hell yeah. Yeah, very light, light-hearted there. I still got my blue hoodie, no hat this time, and Tim's got like a like a green edge shirt here. Very nice. Nice to see the improvements. Then looks great. Thank you so much. What happened to that too? I threw it out because it didn't fit my head anymore. It was always small on my head. And then years ago when we started dating, Reese got me the one I wear now. The, the black one with the, the little leather stripes on it. I just prefer that one so much more. With the brown leather on it. Get a bigger toque. I did. I wear that one now. Next up from Rocket Toros. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Morty, check it out. I turned into a pickle and picked up a hot chicken in, uh, in a train spider infested island in the middle of nowhere. Funniest shit that's ever happened to me. Been a while since I posted anything here and drawn. Oof, I need some practice. But, uh, a lot has happened since my last post, and now, to sum it up, I got a full-time job. Congrats. Hated it. Oh, never mind. I uh, can now relate to Larry. Mom brought two cats against our wishes. Uh, my laptop's hard drive crashed. All of my pictures, games, booba, gone. Started from the bottom, now I'm here posting a sketch of the Pickle Freak, as I've dubbed her, getting all up on Pickle Rick. So yeah, it's been a very long time since I've been here, but for these three days, I have a short vacation, and I plan on making the most of it. On a related note, does anyone have a list of all the games John finished? Having a job for straight uh, for four straight months means I can't watch the stream I usually, as I usually have, giving you streaming mornings in my time zone, or the time to catch uh, up on VOD. Uh... The list is not currently available. I think I will eventually make this available publicly, but like, this is usually what I have tracked down here. Like, this is like, here's just a glint, a uh, glimpse at all the stuff that we've done so far this year. So this is this is all the games that we've done this year. Eventually, I'll clean this up and I can just kind of offer it for people to view. 
There's one worst mutant ability, if I remember right. The kid's ability was that their body released toxins, uh, toxins, acids, poisons that would consume organic tissue. Found out by basically killing his hometown. Look up Jay. It's not a pretty story. Oof. Uh, Toro, sorry you had to go through so much, but I'm, I'm glad you're hopefully enjoying your, your little break here. Hopefully you get to do the best of it. Thank you for the lovely art. A lot of games in July. July we did lightning around, so... The last piece I have you in art block is Pon Pon from Angels in the Window. Another fun little update on Pon Pon here. I got her tail, but it's acting like a skirt rather than a real tail. I found this is the one this is one way to at least show a flat style tail since Vroid still has not given us any sort of tail option, sadly. I know people are asking for them, but I guess it's a free program, so I can't complain too much. Not so sure on the boots and was curious what your thoughts are on them. Uh, they aren't done, but so far I'm not sure I like them yet or not. I think it, it looks a little too overdone on the straps, but I do like the long pink boots. I do like that, at least. I, the straps are, might be a bit too much. Or too many of them, rather. Uh, stockings are not her actual ones. They're from the pound cake undergarments I did a while back, and they're there for place one. Gotcha. Yeah, I think to uh, lower the amount of straps on the boots, and they, they'd look good. Thank you, Angels. And that is our block. Let's go wrap up Choo Choo Charles, shall we? Let's do it. Uh, alright, so... What did we have left to do? Oh, right, we're trying to get this second egg. Oh, hang on. I gotta keep using the scrap so we can actually uh, get the train back to back to full. Oh, he's moving fast. All right, that's guy number one. So we know guy number two is actually going the opposite way. So theoretically, going this way is better. Now we can finally read this note. Make sure nobody goes near the egg. If you see anyone that shouldn't be there, shoot them immediately. No risk can be taken. As soon as, it's, as it finishes, kill it and bring the body to me. Problem is, we've done this so many times, I don't actually know where we're supposed to be going from. Are you friend. kidding me? Whatever that does. Hope for the best on it. <laughs> oh, it's times. Oh, fuck off. Yo, why? We're so dead. <clears throat> Yoink. Nice, nice. Da 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 Oh fuck, I'm so dead. Da 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 da. Oh my god, that fucking hurt. I got turned around. Oh shit, I'm going to die. Do 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 do. Uh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Jones Five is wild, dude. Uh, almost. <laughs> almost. Look out, Indy. <laughs> <laughs> Indy, look out. Shotguns. Why did it have to be shotguns? Perfect. Thank you. Uh, all right. So we know where the egg is. We know the way out. God, it's a painful setup, though. Where is the... There's the guard. At least the first guard. Okay, he's out of the way. I wonder if that... We hit the switch. I wonder if it permanently stayed open. They wouldn't be that nice, right? Mm -hmm. No, they were, they were never going to be that nice. Probably because we pulled the switch, but it hadn't even finished the animation, so... So the question becomes now... Which way's the guard? Are you kidding me? 
I know you are. That's why I'm running. Oh fuck, there was another guy there, because of course there was. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. No trespassing. I'm not trespassing, I'm stealing, it's different! Sure it is. Think they're still chasing me? Uh. Yep. Definitely are. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> I've got the taste of blood now. No. <laughs> I'm actually surprised there wasn't an achievement for killing them. That motherfucker damaged my train! Get him! <laughs> uh, Alright. What do we got for options here? Uh, three NPCs there and one down there. Go meet this one first and foremost. Let's unlock them all in order. Soon you will become the new Charles. Ooh. Ooh, it's one of those. Promotion. <laughs> oh, actual Charles is saying hi too. You got the ch you got the training. Where you at, Charles? Where you at? He's definitely here. There he is. Our boy. Oh, it's so slow to reload, though. It's so slow. Let's try this theory. Looks like that theory about swapping weapons is actually correct. Mm -hmm. And he gave us enough scrap to repair the train. Nice. Now, where did that put us train-wise? Well, I guess we should actually, we can go do this one now because we're down here. Extra scrap. Random house. Can't break and enter. How sucks. How come I can't break in? This was my one opportunity. But it's been denied from you. Could blow up the house with a rocket launcher. Could. I think I gotta I think I gotta move us slightly. I think we're not in, quite in the right spot. Oh no, we are. That's why I think of your wooden door! Tough wooden door, too. Oops, no, forward. Oops. And probably 
want to stop around here. Does your train have horns? Yes, with it at max level, it has horns now. I didn't realize that was a max upgrade thing. I thought that was just an all, always there thing. Nope. Huh. I guess that's one way to reward the player. Hello, Dwarven Man. Hey, aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> now give me some paint. I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. He never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepper work. But that doesn't Pepper affect work. my subordinates as much as someone with my status. I'm gonna sue the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and now they're falling apart. I could scale them myself, but since you're here, go sniff around for those files. <laughs> As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. <laughs> I get one piece of scrap probably from this idiot. I bet you oh, it's boy. just the one. It's all he can spare. Hey, no expense. Oh boy, we're gonna be jumping back and forth between both these towers. Your assassin's creating the hell out of this right now. Shame we can't Mario Odyssey it. Just throw a hat around. And just hope for the best. Yeah, this guy's optional. Go for the hundred percent, basically. Might as well. It's like the last one we have to do. Mm hmm. One thing I'm curious about, though, is I wonder if we're going to find any of that paint we're missing. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Lime! <laughs> there you go. Nice. Limes. Limes are delicious. I think I like lemon more, but like lemon lime combined is pretty strong. That was like my favorite popsicle mm. flavor for the longest time. And I guess it still is. Hell yeah, dude. Good choice. Uh oh, uh oh! Not a good time for that. Considering I just heard Charles. Yep, really not good timing for that. Do you have a lemon lime spine? No, I do not. Is, is that a thing? No idea. What does it look like? I wonder. I assume green and yellow. I assume so. It doesn't sound too healthy. You may need to go see a doctor if you have a green and yellow spine. <laughs> if you know what your spine looks like, then go see a doctor. But what if the doctor is the one who showed you what your spine looked like? Then it's a double doctor at that point. It's me, the spine <laughs> doctor. Here's pictures of your spine to prove I am the spine doctor. Oh, spine doctor, what would I do without you? You would not have a spine. <laughs> wow. You know what it looks like. That's how good I am at my job as the spine doctor. Spine doctor, where did you go to study your spine skills? Spine school. Oh, wow. That's so fascinating, Spine Doctor. Where else do you think I would have learned such an incredible skill? Gas station? 
<laughs> no gas station could teach spine abilities like my school did. <laughs> That's where you learn chiropractic. Oh god. Nice jump. Spinery. <laughs> Spine doctor, I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Setting the foundation for this operation. I was able to give you the backbone you needed to say it with uh, conviction. Setting the foundation for this operation has been considerably more complicated than I expected. Not only by cost, but the logistics of construction, delivery of supplies to the primary mine sites. We'll need to strike gold fast if we want a chance, uh, any chance of avoiding bankruptcy. So they wanted, they wanted gold, and then they found a murderous spider train. That checks. I love video games. Video games are neat. They're alright. They got their moments. <laughs> I can't tell if that's the jadedness of like the 100,000 games he owns or whatever. It's not I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just making fun of it a bit, that's all. <laughs> I got it. I got paperwork. Alright. Employment contracts, employment contracts, and papers for the miners on the island. Alright, well, how do I get down here safely is the real question. I guess the answer is I don't, huh? My leg. My leg. My leg. I have 23 scrap right now. You look like a monkey climbing those towers. <laughs> I sure am glad I found these files. You sure did. Here's that scrap you were begging for. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> sure enough. He was not kidding. He was one scrap. All right, back to the train, and then we gotta figure out, do we go do the last few missions? Do we go try to find the missing paint colors, or do we just try to wrap up the game? Can we run him over? Sadly, no, he's nowhere near the train. Can we if he was, him? though, I absolutely would. I'm not supposed to, like, push the model somehow. Nah, I don't think there's any proper collision like that, unfortunately. Okay. What do we got left? Two necessary NPCs and a mission NPC, and a weapon NPC, rather, so let's go get the weapon. Repairs, no upgrades or repairs I can do on the train. There's like a bunch of like paths we didn't go down. Like we didn't go here to these buildings, but something tells me that's like one of the mines I'm gonna end up at anyways. I assume. I can literally see scrap right there. It despawned, but I could see it on top of this building that just disappeared. The fuck? That was weird. Oh yeah, what was the color we just got? It was lime, right? Yes. That, yeah, that's... That is a train color, all right. We already had this green. That's what we started the stream with. Come back on that blue. So it looks like we're missing one, two, three, possibly four paints. I'm sure there's a guide already out there somewhere. Did, did I? Huh. Train actually stopped us where we needed to be. Perfect. Oh, huh. how convenient. Let's check this building first.
to Mr. Reverend, today's sermon was a true inspiration during these trying times. Very well thought out and thorough in every manner. I believe I speak for the whole congregation when I say that we admire your confidence and steadfast wisdom as we grieve our lost brothers and sisters. We are gathered here today. And this is the, the church, I assume. Out of curiosity, John. Hey, like... there we go. Black paint. Yo, nice. So out of curiosity, if you could, would you get, like, ordained? Um, to be ordained would... Do, okay, do you mean ordained, like, to do, like, wedding ceremonies? Or do you mean, like, become an actual pastor? Just be able to get people married. I, that would be neat. Yeah, right? Like, it seems like it would be really fun. Add it to the list of things I want to do. Like, I want to get my first aid certification. <laughs> Why not, yeah? Get, or, get or, <laughs> First aid certification did... ordained. Skydive. How hard is it to get ordained for marriage? Sermon outline. God is very mad, I think, probably. Charles may be devil, 96% certain. Always sneaky. Spider versus snake. Spiders have more legs, usually. God always wins, hopefully. Sacrifices. Ask for volunteers. Don't cry a lot, only a little. Closing prayer. Clean up. Well, we got black. Okay, so I was right. This was a spot for black. So yeah, this. So there, we're missing three paints. I mean, okay, with the rust, it kind of makes it look like a black gold, which is kind of neat. Aren't you kind of digging that? John, will you baptize my rat trap from Beast Wars? Well, if you ask nicely, which I think you might you just what? did. <laughs> I learned earlier that Mick Foley can ordain weddings. Who wouldn't want to be married by one of Mick Foley's personas or characters? Mm, that's true. I heard Mick Foley himself is just super nice, so. I thought that was a chainsaw for a second. Hello. So, the fabled hunter has finally arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Bob was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. I don't know. I fought Charles a fair amount. If you take what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will you? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. Oh, okay. All right, can I, can someone do me a favor and look up where the where like if there's a guide for where the paints are for this game? Because I'm sad we have not found a pink, and I would like to murder Charles with pink. Or maybe there's a <laughs> rainbow. Maybe there's a rainbow option. Who knows? Probably not. I'm more surprised we haven't found a red that matches Charles. If I'm being real. Let's see here. Ah, there's the camp that we had that pop before. I found a paint cam app. Let me just post that in the pot room. Oh, there you go. Gel's got it too. How to find every paint can for your train. Yep, I'm seeing people post like the IGN. Oh, there's paint. Hidden in a lot. Yeah. Yep, there's pink. Pink's, pink is one of the ones we're missing. Cyan, I think, is one we're missing. There's 11 in total, it seems. Mm. Okay, so the pink paint can is near the the temple. Yeah, no rainbow, sadly. Damn it. Cyan this is the very northwest corner of the map. <laughs> right, so Cyan apparently is like on this dock right here. <laughs> Just right there. Pink is... Where's the temple? Uh, can't find it because of the fucking pop-up. Oh, 
there's the temple. Pink is somewhere around here, apparently. Night, John. You better kill Charles or I'll steal your knees. Don't worry, we're doing our best. We'll do it. <laughs> you can't eat those knees, actually. For what? Oh, guess you know, to walk. Yeah, guess you'll only safely run to the cyan paint after fending off Charles to reset his timer before he comes for you again? Maybe. Uh, we need to turn left here. Actually coming for us? Well, maybe not. Thought he was for a second there. I guess we're murdering fools tonight. Uh, hey, as long as it works. God damn it, I keep thinking the trigger's gonna be zoom, not A and Y. Well, let's move forward a little bit more, I guess. off a couple more people. Is that it? Just the three guys? Is that all they had guarding their camp? I guess that's all they had guarding their camp. Although I know there's like a fire pit or something over there. I see that scrap in there, I want it. Spooky masks. So spooky. Imagine getting hired to be the hired guns to guard a murder train. Yeah. Mm. Like, that's the thing you've been hired for. It's like, hey, we got this thing running around that's just killing everyone in sight. Can you make sure no one tries to kill it? Yeah, sure. What is it? It's a train with spider legs. What? Yeah, a train with spider legs. Really? It's, it's living. It is? We named it Charles, after myself. We've been digging for over a month, and I'm beginning to wonder what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above ground, as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was undercovered, uh, uncovered at one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? Please tell me this takes, like, some insane Wolfenstein-ass turn, and it turns out, like, we're really actually fighting Hitler. God, that's <laughs> Oh my god, what? Like, like, Hitler is actually, like, Charles... No, like Hitler Hitler is either Charles or Warren or both. I I want it to take the most absolute ridiculous turn possible. No, sadly, nah, that's a bummer. Aw. It's Hitler's son. 
Jim, I knew Hitler, it. Hitler 2. <laughs> the sequel. It just sounds like a, that's like the villain to the next Fury movie. From which movie? Sorry. Kung Fury, the next Oh, one. oh, right. I'll scrap about Kung Fury. Hitler 2, the sequel that nobody asked for. Much like the first one. <laughs> Amen. I guess there's no paint here? Oh, there's Charles, though. Charles. How close are you, Charles? Do we have time to go into this room? I don't know, the music stings make me think I might not. I'm doing science! Bob acquired. Equip it in your train. I got me a Bob. Damage three, range five, slowing two, fire rate two. Aw, oh, it's not. Okay, that's a little disappointing. Picked a bad time to fuck around with this. Fuck around, else? you found out. It is very hard to aim because I cannot, like, actually zoom down the sights. Okay, all right. Oh my god, every time. Zoom out, please. Thank you. Have we been here? Where have we... That's where we were. All we have left are our required missions and any paint we want to try to go find. Have we been... We did a mission there, right? It's hard to tell. The scrap respawner, do you only have a finite amount? Every time you fight Charles, he drops scrap too. Oh no, this was the mine that we got the second egg from. Never mind, we've already done this. Alright, let's go get that, I guess. This is such a long gap to run, too. Oh my god. This is gonna blow chunks. All oh, this for some cyan. Uh, Neo, no spoilers, by the way. This is blind. Can't tell if you're joking or not, but, like, this is blind. Okay, just... Be careful about that kind of stuff. Oh, fuck! Mister, I'm just trying to steal... Frank Fisher! He was dead! So am I if no. I don't run! I just want some cyan paint just sitting out here on a fucking dock. What do you think his favorite pastime was? I hope it was mining. Probably knowing this town. Couldn't be happier with this job. I'm happy to leave my pickaxe swinging days behind me to work as foreman at the northern mine site. I'm gonna have the nicest little beach home to spend time in. Good fishing from the dock, too. Life couldn't be better. I'm excited to spend many more years working with the crew here. FF. Gotta chill out with the crew at the schoolyard. 
Without, you know. Did he actually lose me? Yep, sure did. Somehow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. All right, so what's the next one you need? Uh, so that was cyan. Uh, I need pink, and let me let me see here. I, let me get back to the train first, and then we can take tally of what we need. I think we're only missing of like course. two now. Pink's the easiest one to remember. He disappeared in that tiny shack with only one door. I'll never find him in there. Oh, jeez. I've been... I've been tricked. It's like a cartoon, man. Would you say at times your life could be like a cartoon? Yeah, definitely. You're asking John this? Yeah. Or even just <laughs> in a general thing. <laughs> What kind of cartoon? Right, missing hmm, two colors. I, it depends. Because you could have, like, Tom and Jerry, right? Just, like, endless slapstick. But then, like, as long as you do, just, you have, if, if you start talking, then it just gets awkward for everyone. All right, we're missing... He's up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but, like, once you start speaking full sentences, it just takes me out of it. We're missing pink and red. Red is in the northeast section of the map. It's located in the mine. Players need to explore during a mine or a tomb mission. Okay, I don't think we've actually been in this one yet. Okay, so. Uh, and pink was where again? Pink hands pink down in the north section of the map. To reach it, the player must ascend a watchtower just northeast of the temple you'll need to activate to challenge Charles and finish it. Okay, so so red we'll find from progress. Pink we have to go out of our way for. Go figure. Uh, yeah, so pink is like either there. It's like right here. This is where pink is. So let's queue up the last two missions. The Arnarium Municipal Building. I'm gonna meet the mayor. A very fancy sign for these wooden shacks. Mutiny meeting notes. I have discussed our latest battle plan with everyone and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set the track's directions according to when the time comes. All the Archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance, and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arm too long. Charles needs to go, and Warren won't stand in our way. Stakeout summary. Day 3, location 4. I've been staking out this area for days, and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous. But if he's angry and desperate, then he might just chase someone across it. Then BAM! We use John's bombs to blow the whole thing up, and Charles falls face first into the canyon. If the blast doesn't kill him, the fall surely will. Well, they had a plan. I'll give him that. Hmm. <laughs> You're the archivist my father told me about. Although, 
I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Sure, that's what happened. Yep, definitely is. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Okay. My legs. Walk it off. You'll be okay. I'm running it off. Much better. Much faster, honestly. Ah, the pain will be gone in no time. You see, the faster your leg movement, the more the pain will go away faster. Oh, he literally meant the, like... You want to say that sentence again? Nope. <laughs> okay. Whenever I hear that, like, sentence, it's just like a fight-or-flight instinct, man. <laughs> at that moment, he knew he fucked up. John, do you, why do you hate your knees so much? Because I always damage my knees in real life, so I might as well do it in video games, too. Next to your head, then your shoulders, then your toes. It depends on which part of my body I have a, I have a moral grudge against. Is there anything you have a grudge against? About myself? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, huh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> like you didn't ask for clarification, You're just like, all right, fair enough. I mean, I don't want to go, let you go into it if it makes you feel bad or whatever. Bridge on the island, so if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. His boobs. I mean, I did wish they were real. It does suck to have them just in a box. I wish boobs were real. I, do, I, I it also can be wish real and in a real. box. <laughs> Dear Santa Claus. Dear Santa Claus. Boob. I've been a good boy and or girl this year. Uh. Okay, so now I have access to the temple for finish it. Pray my soul, my soul to keep. <laughs> Hush, little baby, don't say a word. <laughs> and forget it's about that voice you heard. It's just a beast it's under, under your head. And never mind. <laughs> what? It's and never mind that noise you heard. Oh. What did I say? And something forget something. I probably said forget about that that voice you heard or noise you heard. At last night's meeting, Greg told us a crazy conspiracy about Warren trying to use spider trains for world domination. As part of the crew that no. worked in the temple, I'm far from convinced. While the Prisma was extracted life energy from a batch of eggs, uh, Charles attacked us for the first time. Not only did he fight like hell when, while the eggs were being destroyed, but he nearly doubled in size as he fought, as if he were consuming the energy. His legs grew larger and stronger while his face grew more distorted right before our eyes. Those of us who survived couldn't even fathom what we witnessed. That was when Warren hid the eggs and ordered us to protect them. That was when he began evacuating people. That was when everything turned for the worst. I know Warren has plenty of skeletons in his closet, but I can't help thinking he might actually be looking out for us this time. <laughs> Dear Blue Fairy, I heard you made a puppet into a real boy, so I was wondering if you can make fake boobs into real ones. Thoughts on the game so far? I'm enjoying it a lot, Gabe. We're just about done. We're, we're I think we're about to queue off the last boss fight after we get the last egg. So there's not there's not much game left. I wish fairies are real. Amen. The Archivist, in all your radiant glory, Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. 
But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. Why do you sound like Mike Dawson from Dark Seed 2? There's an ancient shrine on the island. Could be the same guy? Of sorts, with a curious Doubt prism it. located at the top. It'd be funny if it was. The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose. To destroy monster eggs. Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully loaded, a massive beam of energy is emitted, seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. The mutineers hope this event will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. We saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So, here's the mind key. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end this hell. A lot of people have given this game crap for what it's worth, but honestly, for a game developed by one guy, I definitely enjoyed this uh, a lot and support the dev and hope he gets enough fun for a sequel. I think it's like, I think it's silly. Like, it's a silly ass game, but I enjoy the concept of it. Like, there's definitely f stuff to poke fun at, but like, yeah, for a one guy team, yeah, no, this is, this is decent. Uh, what am I looking for here? There we go. All right, that's where the red paint is in this one, so. So I guess let's set our map to go there. And then we can wrap all this up. Hell yeah. Well, you know what I should do meanwhile? I should actually look and see the achievement list, see what I'm missing. Because I think we've gotten achievements for like every side quest so far, and we've done the majority. Uh, Steam, where you at? Okay, this was better than the four IGN gave it. Are you surprised? IGN gave this that a four? IG... Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely better than a four. We're missing four achievements for the game. All right, we're just not jiving with the concept, which is fair. Uh, better like maybe yeah, something else, I don't know. Complete a minor tomb, open the Temple of Charles, collect all 11 paint cans, and beat the game. Cool. The game does feel silly. I mean, I think that's the point. Like, I don't... The game's not actually scary. I think that's why I put the tongue-in-cheek, like, the warning instead of, like, saying, like, hey, arachnophobia warning. That's why I put up, like, spider train. Spider train. Spider train. <laughs> All right, let's steal some more stuff. I don't even think we need it at the moment, but I'm probably going to need it for the final fight. Did, Have you ever stolen anything Are you in your kidding life? me already? Ay, ay, ay. Don't you dare hurt my train. You ragged all over there and think about what you did. Is this path they want me to take to get in there? Alright, here we go. Let's see what this nonsense is gonna be. Whistling, so this is already a good start. My legs. They'll get better. Breaking my legs. Breaking my bre Break breaking my, my legs, legs down, down. down. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Cracking fast and I'm hospital bound. <laughs> breaking my legs. How do trains reproduce? We answered this earlier. They, uh, when a daddy train and a mommy train love each other very much, they cause a two-car pileup. All right, I hear the whistling. Okay, I see you. Need you. 
I'm glad you guys caught that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's on his way back. Wow, I can actually get pretty close to him, huh? What is the fucking pathing he is on? I regret this. Yep, sure oh did. My God. <laughs> it's just Whee! coming in chat. The daddy train looks for a mommy train that has a really nice caboose. <laughs> Wee! You're in the wrong place, my friend. I mean, I am because I'm getting shot at. I'm just trying to find some paint and an egg. That's all I'm looking for. Take him out! How did you miss? So now here's the question. Are they going to call the train? Or the, the elevator back up? Or are they just going to sit there and wait? Can't be far off. Keep looking. Nope, they gave up. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm getting over my gunshot wounds. <laughs> As you do. As you do. Always comes back to eggs, doesn't it? Sure does. Hey! I should have found that. Oh, of course you were in a dead end. Uh oh, you know what I should have done? Damn it. There's the egg. So many fucking dead ends. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got too lucky too many times. Unfortunately, it's gonna put me back in the train, so it's gonna take a bit. Where was the red paint again? Let me double check that. Red paint is in the northeast section of the map. It's located in the mine. Players need to explore. After navigating past two guards in the upper level of the mine, take the elevator down and sneak past the third garden level below. Push down the chain of tunnels. I'll pass these to a locked box. Okay. Yeah, so it's just... It's on the second floor. Okay, well, since we know that they can't apparently follow us down the elevator, I might as well just run. Should it be here? I know, but I'm still here anyways. Hey, be here. I know, the other guy told me already. Bye. All right. And he's gone ahead there. So we already know that this was a dead end, right? Just gotta be careful to see when this guy turns around. You shouldn't be here. Or just let him come and murder me. Where is this fucking locked box? All right, let's see if this tactic works. Oh my god, where's the elevator? Oh, they called the elevator up. Sons of bitches. Yeah. Good news is we still have 61 scrap, so it's not like we're really hurting for, for any of that. Cool. Don't go too fast. Oops, I got turned around. Shit. To the mine! Try our luck again. 
Don't Mario leap downstairs. Fucking hurts. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind for the, for the future. Do, do you think a BLJ is truly painless, John? <laughs> First guy didn't even see us. Oh, that guy actually shot us that time. The fucking elevator just leaves! Wait, John, oh, fuck off! Are you kidding me? Aww. Ugh. Oh, it's not gonna leave us alone, there's nowhere. Steal the egg. I feel like once they see you there's, once, there's it's hard. There's a locked box. So it's funny. I was reading about this. Does his aim just suck or am I just getting lucky? No, so when you're lockpicking, you're actually invincible. Amazing. Amazing. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck? They're right there! Intruder. Oh shit, where's the train? Oh no, I don't not remember where we parked. Get up, uh -oh. boys. And they're not gonna <laughs> give me a chance to even look. Don't you hate it when you forget what you put your train? <laughs> I fucking hate when I misplace uh, Thomas, man. Oh, there it is. I hear it. I can't. Like you have the car fob and like make the sound, it just. Turn to the right. Okay. Where did he come from? There we go. Beat it, chump! Charles is here too. Charles. Yep. <laughs> Charles showed up just at the end. You son of a bitch. Find a game on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> do you have? Do you have uh, Clash of Clans on that thing? I want to play it. Let me play your games on your phone. Wait, hold on. Uh... Any games on your phone? I want to play fake grand order. Let me use all your cords. <laughs> Wait, right really? if, if I let Charles use my copy of fake grand order, he's just going to summon like every five star. But it's going to be like cursed and I'll, I'll get in trouble by the game. Thanks, okay. Krabs. Oh, did I stop at 69? Yeah. Excellent. Nice. nice. Okay, so. All we have left is the final mission, so let's go get that paint first and foremost, which I think is... Where did I find that? Because that's the temple. There's a watchtower around here somewhere we gotta go to. There it is. Alright. Not the best path there, but let's do it. It has a red look. I assume it's just gonna look like Charles. Yeah. A little disappointing. Stick with the cyan. Wait, is Charles a lady because there are train eggs? You know what? That's not a bad question, actually. Could be like a seahorse situation. I don't like that. I don't like what I just fucking imagined. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, I just realized something. Fuck. Uh, I can't do what I'm planning here. Hang on, turn around. It's gonna keep me on the outer track. I actually have to go... I have to go in this way.
dumb thought. Uh huh. My favorite. I have lots of those. Okay, no. I want to know if my own train could run me over. Aww. <laughs> Turns out, not the case. I guess we'll just go to this fork and stop then and run past the. Stop there. And I'll just run across, grab the paint, and then we're ready for the fight. That is a very reinforced temple, though. It's a bit more uh, Castle Grayskull than I expected. No trespassing! Ow. Hey! I thought you said I was immune when I was doing lockpicking. I... you should have been. April Fools! But it's I guess I saw earlier was not the case. What? Weird. It's my, my bad. Box. Bad luck on that one. Your jumping is disabled while you are moving on the train, and the train stops as soon as the center of your uh, player character moves off the train platform. Oh, no, I know it stops. I'm just saying, like, if I get at max speed, I still have enough time to get in front of it. Because we're a pretty speedy speed boy. I'll try running myself over later, Carcinogen. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll dedicate it to you. Oh, hey, Carcinogen. <laughs> Yay! No trespassing! Excuse me, I'm trying to lockpick here. Now it's working. Don't know why it didn't work earlier. Thank you. Who's that? You're just trying to shoot you through the door? No, because we were down in the... I don't know if you were here earlier. Um, we were in the cave in like the last mine and we were lockpicking and he just could not hit me like he was right next to me the second we got out of it he shot me why is pink the most guarded of the colors they knew yeah i gave up right we're gonna get a rude awakening when i get out of this tower i can tell I think it might have been because we were in lockpicking set two. Maybe that's why. Maybe step two, they're like, yeah, we don't want to reset the player's status, so just do that. And behold. Pink. Which definitely looks a behold. lot like purple. My stuff. Dripped out. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Warren has been uh, has had us watching the boulder field for nearly a week, but we haven't seen anything particularly interesting. We see Sasha walking through the area on occasion, and Charles occasionally makes an appearance, but Warren hasn't been interested in these things. He won't tell us what we're looking for, just document everything and let him know if we see anything interesting. Watch group schedule. Group 1, midnight. Group 2, 8 a.m. Group 3, 6 p.m. All right, well, where to park my train? Well, you better believe we're making that pink before we go fight that boss. Oh, yeah. All right. My leg. Breaking my leg. Looking back on it, looks like you hit the lockpick game way too early. Must. Mm, I would have figured make way too late, but yeah. I didn't get that achievement yet. There's a guide. We we found most of the colors. What did we find? We were missing what three? I yeah, believe so. Yeah, we were missing cyan. We were missing pink. We were missing red. The rest we found naturally. Although chat pointed out a couple of them because I did definitely did not see at least one of them. The one by Theodore, chat definitely caught. A 
wouldn't be surprised if both enemy field of view and aim was both just a flat plane, and by going into lockpicking, moves the player below that plane. I mean, since there's no crouching otherwise, that would make sense. Red, cyan, and pink were missing. Ah, my f all my favorite colors, sadly. Hmm. How did that guy not see us just then? Blank, my friend. That guy saw us. So fast. <laughs> How is he so fast? Alright. Time to murder with the pink train. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah, about that. You could have ran him over there. Yeah, damn it. Oh well. How's, how's the plane? Aw, oh, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, that was worth it. Yeah. Alright, let's repair. Let's, uh, let's. Back up a little bit. Take it back to when you had, like, what? Like, no scraps? And now here you are with, like, 70 of them. Yeah. Well, we've had, we've had max. Like train for a while. Yeah. All right. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> One hop this time. The correct way, and then let's just <laughs> Do not try to run ourselves train. over. No, Johnny, you're supposed to barbecue them with the flamethrower. Ah, oh, fuck, you're right. I should have done that. Ah. Oh. Well, I can try to piss off someone else. Let's see what we can do. Who can we piss off today? What cultist can I piss off today? Wake up in the morning, slap my Chronicles Rig DVD. I, I cannot outrun it. I cannot outrun the train. VHS tape. <laughs> You're right. My apologies. Yeah. Fucked it up. Open palm, slap my, cop, my DVD copy of Chronicles of Riddick, then slowly wait for it to go into the DVD player. <laughs> Okay, let's go. I gently insert my Chronicles Riddick DVD into my PS4. Gingerly. Uh, the, the modern insert. version I see now. <laughs> I, I still do the moves with Vin Diesel. I open palm slap my keyboard and play the MKV file of Chronicles Riddick I have on my computer. Alright, time to play some eggs. One goes there. Very squishy. We Blue one goes there. Step away from the shrine, stranger. You don't know what you're doing. The man in the yellow Put suit. The what happened to you? And lay flat on the ground. Where's Curious George? Curious George. God damn it. <laughs> Follow through with whatever you're planning. <laughs> oh shit, that is Walter White. What the fuck? No! You fool! You do the fool! You what did, fool! What did you do? Wait, what happened? So the train you. eats the energy from the babies and gets much more, uh, trainier. You mess with the natural order! So why did you do that? Because now we can kill the train. What do you mean? Train can die now. You must kill the train. By making it stronger, it can. Well, because it, it didn't. It, it kept running away. Now it won't run away because it thinks it's too powerful. Shoot him until uh... dead. Works for me. Kill those murderers dead. Oh, there's the phobia. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. He can teleport now, wow! Ooh. Hell Charles! Alright, that's a pretty fucking sick name. Oh, is that what it says? Under spider train warning? Oh, Charles. Oh, no oh, shit, is that covered up? Oh, I can't pause, the game will not let me pause, I'm sorry guys. It says Hell Charles underneath the spider train warning. Yeah, it's all good.
Do they still make plushies in this game? God, I hope so. <laughs> he fucking teleports now! I love like the dark skies with all this. Bob! <laughs> it's pissed. This is boring. All this has is banks and checks. You have a board game on the train, but it's just to get ride. On the bridge. Oh, you sad clown. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't know we were playing Mortal Gnarly. Kombat! Fatality. <laughs> God, I wish that was in the game! <laughs> Oof. Well? Well, I you doomed them all. I we guess murdered you a train! Win. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Now Skim's now trying to upgrade skin. your train. Yeah, hell yeah, I want those fucking armored spider legs on my train. Mission complete. <laughs> oh, hang on. There's sequel mate. Nope. Is that an egg? Yeah. We missed a fourth egg. Wonder if that was one you could have gotten or No, this I doubt it's, it. it's in a place that's not mined. That's actually why Warren and the others are continuing to mine. They're trying to find the rest of the eggs. So uh, we technically well, did actually fuck things up by killing Charles. What do you mean? Oh, and there's a lot more eggs. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Well. Oh, dude. Train MMO? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so if they make Son of Charles, when we get to Bride of Charles... See all, see, all this is making me think of is I hope them is that uh, Choo Choo Charles 2 is like a vampire survivors, like. Oh my god. By the way, the developer is give, doing a giveaway for a Choo Choo Charles plushie. Can I post a link? Ozzyman, go for it. Absolutely. Oh, fuck I, yeah. I, I joked actually. earlier, it's real. <laughs> How is killing Charles bad? Well, no, so it's implied at the end there that the reason Warren is like keeping the eggs away is because they're still trying to dig around and find more of the eggs 
they are actively trying to find all the eggs to try to get rid of them, figure out some way to get rid of them once and for all. And we basically show up and we're like, yeah, we're going to kill Charles. Fuck your plans. So, killing Charles was the right thing to do. However, Warren also was trying to find the rest of the eggs. And we thought there were only three. Charles, be Charles being alive was good because? Charles being alive was good because as long as the eggs were kept away from the... Um, from that actual like triangle, like they didn't kind of fuck around with them. Because, um. like as you saw, the second we powered up Charles, he just went on a murder spree because he came hell, Charles. Oh my God! Look at that plushie. <laughs> so good. Suggest an idea. You play as Dale Gribble in the sequel, and your mission is to exterminate the eggs. Perfect. He's doing a campaign, so you can buy one starting on the fifteenth. Here, let me show the picture of the, the plushie here first. I guess I can turn off the spider train warning officially now. Oh my god! <laughs> Look really at this fucking this. plushie! Oh, it's incredible. Look at this fucking plushie for Charles. <laughs> he's so he's got such a yee face. It's great. <laughs> also doing campaign so there's a campaign as well ozzy posted that as well um oh the campaign hasn't started yet okay yeah so if you follow the link that ozzy man posted in the chat you'll get a link over here i'm just making sure it's not going to show like my my address or anything here canada yeah. So you can join in on this, like, uh, makeshift campaign, and you can fund getting plushies made of this. Amazing. Wait, I went downstairs to brush my teeth. Did I miss the end? Yep. We, we blew up Charles. Charles is fine. I'm so getting one for a white elephant idea. Oh, my God. Oh, I'd be oh. <laughs> All right, well, it took us longer to beat the game than I expected, but we beat it 100%. And that means that was game number 52 for the year. Yay. And it's also complete. Yeah. And that officially means we hit our goal for the year. We have beaten and completed... 52 games this year. Thank God. It's finally safe to turn off the year. <laughs> the year is finally over. No more years allowed. We average <laughs> roughly a game a week. Which is impressive because I'm pretty sure there's like a three month gap where we did not beat any games. Alright, so uh, let's list off the games that we actually beat this year. Here, let me jump back over to my spreadsheet. Fortified Zone for the Game Boy, the Flintstones movie game for the SNES, Who Framed Roger Rabbit for the NES, Home Alone 2 for the SNES, The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare for the SNES, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles for the NES, Tiny Toon Adventures Wacky Sports Challenge for the SNES, Zone of the Enders the Second Runner for PS2, I guess we, oh, we did the PS4 version, but whatever, uh, Clue for the SNES, Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Switch, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath for the Xbox, Zone of the Enders 1, the Xbox 360 version, Ape Escape 1 for the PS1. Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition for the Series okay, X. Yeah. Roger Rabbit was this year? Yeah, it's how we started the year. Naruto Clash and Ninja for the GameCube. Mr. Chin's Gourmet Paradise for the Game Boy. Zero Team for the Switch and Arcade. Mom Hit My Game 2 for Switch. Shock Trooper Second Squad for the Switch and Arcade. Sunset Riders for the Genesis. Sunset Riders for the Switch and Arcade, Master Chew and Drunkard Who for the NES, Elmo's Number Journey for the N64, Elmo's Letter Adventure for the N64, uh, uh, Kate Kita Cyborg Kuro-chan for PS1, The Amazing Spider-Man for Game Boy, Tekken 1 for PS1, Sesame Street Countdown for the NES, Twinkle Star Sprites for the Switch and Arcade, uh, Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight for the Switch, Castlevania Dracula X, uh, for the Super Nintendo, Bleed for Switch, Silhouette Mirage for PS1, Conker's Bad Fur Day for the N64, Joe and Mac for the NES, Super Kiwi 64 for Steam, Save Room for Steam, Nuclear Blaze for Steam, Choo Choo Charles for Steam, and then bonus uh, non-game clearing night 
choices were Marvel superheroes for the arcade, Pajama Zam 3, You Are What You Eat From Your Head to Your Feet for the Steam, Kira Kira Star Knight DX for the NES, Peglin for Steam, Super Puzzle Fighter <laughs> 2 Turbo for PS1, Undernight Inbirth Accelerator, Accelerate Clerk, I can never say it right, for That's Switch, for you. Uh, Time Thief for Steam, Pajama Sam right. 2, Thunder and Lightning Aren't So Frightening for Steam, Super Busta Move 2 for PS2, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Game Gear, Digimon Rumble Arena for the PS1, Einhander for the PS1, and Soccer Die Cosmic Cup for the Switch. Uh, we did no RPGs this year, which, I mean, that's fair. Uh, sub suggestions, we did more than four, but, because that those were a couple, but I have, to, I have to tweak some of these, some of these are not correct, those will be correct for the last uh, night when we show off the final results. Ma's suggestions were three, that's also not correct. Different systems, last I counted was at 14, that might still be accurate. Uh, max difficulty, we did three games. Extra game clears, we did 13, I was aiming for 15, so we're gonna try to get two more in for the, before the end of the year. Polls for games, I'd wanted to do six. I only wrote down one. I feel like I did more than one, but still not six. But we did hit total game clear, which was 52. Beat 22 and completed 30. All right, Xenoblade is the RPG we're doing. Duh. Mm -hmm. We haven't beaten it yet. Yeah, so we'll have an RPG for next year. Whee! Oh boy. Yeah. So this is this is the spreadsheet I usually use for for these. Like I've shown these off in the past. These are like all the all the things I track for that poll results and stuff like that for the years we did polls. And then, like, there's a marker off on the side here. Which the big old brand of spoilers on it, which just shows, like, all the games I had, like, in the running for, for game choices for some of these. So, there's a sneak peek of some of the stuff I had considered throughout the year, which may didn't pan out one way or the other. But yeah, that's that. Charles is 100% done. We got all achievements. Apparently I did not turn off the game, I just noticed. Unless you turbo Xeno right now? Yeah, we ain't, we ain't beating Xeno by the end of the year. That ain't happening. Not unless you stream, like, multiple times a week, uh, the game. No, not planning on doing that. Yep. Well, it's funny, because I think that is your Wednesday stream now. This Wednesday is indeed Xenoblade. We continue Xenoblade on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is a sponsored stream, probably starting around usual time, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, Mountain Time, somewhere in that range. Uh, it depends, because I don't want to bleed into top-down perspective, which usually starts at 10, I believe, my time, 10 or 10.30. Uh, Friday is my Small Time Charity segment at 8.15, or was it 7.15? I think it was 8.15. Uh, I can double-check here. I got it written down on my calendar. I just got to double-check. Yeah. 8.15, yep. 8.15 yeah, yep. to 11.15. And Saturday's fortune cookie. It's going to be a busy week. About how far do you think you're done with Xenoblade? Last I heard, 65%. Who's the guy in the man alert, John? My mind's drawing a blank. Ah, uh, it's literally one of the results for just running guy. Running guy. I love it's that made. Schwarzenegger movie. Yeah. <laughs> so what are Jog your thoughts? And dude. Jog and dude. The sequel to Running Man. So what are your thoughts on the game? When I saw the trailer, it seemed like the kind of dumb game you enjoyed. I, it, was, it was stupid fun. I enjoyed it. I think the pacing for the side questing was a little eh. But I mean, what are you going to do? It's a game about a train. It's got to do train stuff, like move around an island. I wish there had been a way to kind of fight back against the, the guys chasing you, other than, like, lure them towards the train, but I'm glad that was at least an option. Yeah, no, it was alright. It was a fun little time. Definitely better than the 4 or whatever it was. Can we post our game clearing in Buru tonight? No, not tonight, because we're not done game clearing yet. We're just, we just hit our goal, that's all. We'll be back to game clearing next Monday. Yeah, we got two more Mondays still, so we're probably still gonna do, like, just get some extra games on the list. Yep, 
Is there a plan for viewer game clearing list then after last year and all? Oh, yeah. Didn't we want to put it like all in a Google Doc or something? Yeah, didn't we want to do something like that? Shit, what was the actual plan for that? Oh, we even had a mod meeting about it and I completely forgot. We did. Dude. Well, we'll... We'll let you know, chat. What we'll, we'll figure it out. We might have to do like a top five list in like a Google Doc or something just to shorten it. Yeah. Because we can't, we just can't show everyone's lists. Like, uh, it it will take too much of the stream. I wish I could figure out a random page to jump to that I could just show how much Art Block was just clogged up with game clearing lists last time we did this. It was like a good like five plus pages now. We, we were five pages behind, I think, every art block. Oh, I actually think I might have just found them by accident. Hang on. Yep. Okay, there we go. Yeah, chat, we'll let you know. Once we yeah. remember. <laughs> yep. Hang on. Here, just to show you. This was what happened to Art Block last year. So obviously, any picture you see, here, let me make my mouse shut up. Here, every picture you see here with just like text, that was someone's game clearing list. So you can see the ratio of game clearing lists versus art blog posts, the more we click through on them every time. So, like, art block just became me just, like, skimming through people's lists. And it just went like that for a while. And I think this is... This is about, yeah, when they stopped. So, we're gonna we're yeah. gonna try to streamline it for a bit, because it got us, it got us way behind on art block for some reason. There you time. go. Can we go to that weird-ass Kirby real quick? <laughs> hey, maybe not. Hey, maybe let's not. <laughs> Here is here's the sequel to the sequel to Choo Choo Charles. That's what's gonna be in the sequel. That's a baby train right there. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Exactly. Yeah, well, we're gonna we'll figure out some way to still let, still let people kind of like celebrate stuff they did and share it with us because I like the fact that we led people to like track their game clearing and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's actually really cool. It's just, you know, when everyone wants to show it off, it's like, oh, this is this gets to be a lot really quick. Yeah, that I started one, happen. didn't I didn't keep up with it though. I also don't finish games that often. That's why I have my backlog before, so I don't have to for the most part. I'm at fifty this year. I hope to have at least fifty two by the end of the year, one for every week. Alright, eggs wise, we got the Knight of Void for fifty three, Black Knight Axe for sixty three. Deep Dragon for 77, Niles Gathrach for 47, Translucent Spartan for 66. Alerts wise, we have Cardian Joker who says, So, would you say Spider Train needs to learn that with great power comes great railroading? I don't think it really followed the tracks all that much, all things considered. Fox McCloud with a mission accomplished. Zeta Program 142 says, Well, I guess we get another train here in Inferno, with legs and a creepy clown face at that. Anyway, it's been unable to sleep lately, so currently trying to fix that and playing Bayonetta 1 is Kermit, Kermit Netta. Yes, the Bayonetta Kermit 1 is so good. <laughs> that is a really good one. <laughs> Craigly Man just says, Man! And Xenotype C says, So far, I've beaten 23 games, of which only six are not complete yet. Nice. I don't bother tracking how many I, cl I complete on my actual spare time, because it just it just takes a while, and I can't even skim my backloggery, because there's a there's a limit to how far back the backloggery goes in your memory card for tracking stuff, and mine currently can only goes back to February 14th, so Valentine's Day. So I can see anything I cleared past that, but not anything before that. John, when did you add the man? Uh, a couple streams ago, but people only found it tonight. You showed it to us a while back. I'm surprised you didn't add it sooner. I genuinely forgot. Okay. ADHD kicked in. Completely forgot. Yeah, that's all good. All right, let's go to our block and then wrap up for the evening. Wait, did you read out subs? I'm not doing the eggs. Am yeah. I insane? I'm still gonna do eggs. I'm just, I'm just like oh, juggling oh. like three or four things here at once. Sorry. 
Not Eggs good. wise, uh, I got one egg here. It's from No Limit. Labeled. You want to play a game? Oh no. <laughs> time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Ticket to Ride Europe 15th <laughs> Anniversary <laughs> Edition. This was sent to me by Asmodee, and is designed by Alan R. Moon. Beautiful. Amazing. Beautiful. Look, there I am! There I am, Gary. There I am, Gary. I got a lantern. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Hang on. I'm going back here for a second. Limit, was this an unintentional dig at Maniacal to make Bagel taller than him? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume not, but it's funny if you actually went for that. Let me the sussy baka. I like how my picture is just <laughs> your my logo. album art. <laughs> it's just your logo. <laughs> my fucking album art. It's been, like, it's been that way multiple times now. It almost feels like it's, it's, a, it's a joke that just writes itself. All right. Our block three will... Oh, there's a 90 minute warning too. So there you go. Perfect. Doctor, this is your spine. Me, what the fuck? Put it back. Princess <laughs> Skylar, I'm totally gonna draw this with some Alt Johns later when I'm good enough to actually focus on drawing. I was extremely sick the beginning of December and with bronchitis and I'm still recovering as I'm severely dehydrated from how hard I was hit. Spines. Recover soon, Skylar, feel better. Thank you for spines. I actually would have also replaced the donator to be the Proton John from your epic birthday song, but I didn't have access to it. Oh, do you mean the, like the, it's your birthday today, that one? Uh, I have that file. A couple of us do if you need that sent to you, Lemon. Next up, from Angels. So I worked on them a little more and started to like where this is going now. Might add a bit more details since I think Pon Pon would uh, be into a little more glam, but so far I think they look pretty decent for succubus boots. There you go. Yeah, less straps, so it looks better. The the wings on the, on the actual, like, strap part are nice on the actual buckle. And then the hearts on the side. That is a good look. Nice done. Boots. And the last one I have here. Fantastic. Absolutely. From Regrudgingly Waluigi, I present the human antagonist of Choo Choo Charles, uh, Walter White with the yellow hat. <laughs> He's so tall. So tall and skinny. That's our block, and folks, that's the stream. What's our raid message, guys? Uh, it's gotta be Choo Choo, right? Choo Choo. I didn't want to chance setting that up without, because last time I tried doing that, it crashed OBS, so I'm scared to use studio mode. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I hesitate. Well, it's the end of stream, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do it there. I forgot about the pickle lady too. Oh my god. Choo choo pickles. Hell choo choo, choo choo, hell Charles. Chugga chugga Charles. Let's see. From our usual crew, uh, Shrum is streaming, Super Ninbo streaming, Good Jared streaming, Ferret Bomb streaming, Marin streaming. Wow. All streaming. Oh god, he's playing High on Life, the new game done by one of the guys from Rick and Morty. Alright, that game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that was even out. You know, playing Ninja Gaiden? Let's find out. Nope. Some people playing Ninja. No, that's not even. Someone's playing Sigma. I'll pass on that.
intro. Mike Bate is live right now? Wait, what? Really? Mike Bate is streaming right now. Dude, we gotta write him. Why does that sound familiar? What, what is he uh, streaming? Was it? Time Thief, are you aware of Brown Bricks by any chance? Yeah, write him on Brown Bricks. I, man, dude. Yeah, I probably don't do that one, but yeah. I remember now who that is. Minecraft. Minecraft. Brown bricks. I mean, I he, he could have also just said fucking Cinemassacre, didn't he? Just a different guy. He left. Yeah. Mike Potato's well, not part of Cinemassacre anymore. He used to be. Well, that's where I like. That's where oh, I remember. Oh yeah, he, yeah. He was the Bugs Bunny in the the old early ABGN ones, and a bunch hey, of other stuff. Bugs Bunny. Minecraft. If this guy is in English, Liverpool. So I'm gonna say that's probably a yes. That's in Australia, right? No. Australia beasts. Uh, about as Zealand? English as you can get. New Zealand, maybe? No. Oh my God. Now you're doing. Uh, this. Oh, I'm not. What do you mean? England. Oh, England. Oh, I are hear that. Are we doing choo-choo? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, um, Camille new. says she's going live. Are we rating Camille instead? Wait, is she actually? Why am I typing in the link? I can literally just click Camille's name. <laughs> Type in her <laughs> name anyways. Practice your typing skills. John, teach typing. She's not live. Alright, well, let's, let's, raid, let's raid this gentleman then. We doing just choo-choo? Yeah, since it's new, somebody new. May as well, yeah. <laughs> Breaking my legs downtown. I forgot about that one too. That was another good oh, one. Oh yeah. Breaking my legs downtown. Walking slow. We're not, we're not, we're not yeah. rating Mike Bate Soda Pop. Calm the fuck down. He was never planned to be rated. I was surprised he was live at 2:30 in the morning. I've heard enough stories about him. Don't fucking worry. We're rating uh, Mr. Stej. We're rating the gentleman from Liverpool. Hell yeah. Boss <laughs> is actually giving new advice now. Do you not watch that new Matrix movie? Oh, I like that turtle spin he's uh, got. Yeah, it's from Shredder's Revenge. I'm like speed on it. He's fast as ever. Got a giant so gremlin behind him. Yeah, I was say, look at this fucking room, room he's got. Holy shit! Way faster when I started it. I mean, I, I, this is coming from someone who's he's not even halfway through, so take it with a great salt. Um, but when I started it, it was like I don't know what I'm doing. I think it was just kind of the whole thing oh, of like the how to organize it. That was a big issue for me. It's like, well, I don't know what to do. With Let's the... see a bunch of ninja so what I do, in the I back. Put them all, Stay puffed together. There. And I seem to be held fast. Oh, my mouse isn't so so showing. So you can see where I'm pointing. Put them all the colors together. There's Skeletor. It's like, Captain Kirk, so I think. More That's Skeletor. Therapeutic. Really good for your mental health. Watch He-Man stuff. Some nice work on something. Um, again, if you're not into like, I mean, I've, I've, we've just found out about this when our forties, which is ridiculous, isn't it? But um, so anyone who's not gone into Lego before too. feels like he needs something yeah. like that. Maybe well, we'll apparently he's gonna play the Little Mermaid for NES for the first time. So, um, soda, <laughs> soda pop, barbecue. <laughs> Thank you so much for following right now. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend. He, seems, he might Lego be a bit so distracted yeah. right now, but seems like an alright dude. Go give I'm, him some love. I'm, I'm and we'll see you guys today. I'm Wednesday. I cannot relax. For I'm not a relaxed person. I had to double check to make sure that's what it was. Good <laughs> morning. <laughs> What? Hello, Holly. That is incredible. How are you doing, Holly? All right. Hello. Hi, everybody. Good morning, Holly. Uh, people in chat, my, I came in a chat today, and people were like, what's this Holly? And I was like, what? What's going on? And like, people, and people were like, we have pitchforks there. Good morning. And I was like, we've got questions, Holly. I was like, really? I don't think I'm Holly. I'm just having fun listening to this guy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> He's got that fun energy about him. But it's supposed to be Christmas. All right. Well, Next I can't. Time, guys. Hang on. Well, I can do this though, because I just realized this will actually work. 
Um, uh, about that. Huh. It's working. Working as intended, clearly. That's the Proton John Guarantee. I'm, I'm just soaking. I'm in hell. I'm in hell. Night, everybody. One.